Hi, can you hear us? Good evening. This is Thursday, the 15th of February. I'm pretty smart that way. Welcome to the show. You're weird. Say hi if you're there. <clears throat> okay. Well, hello. Whoever is out there. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday to you. What are some fun items today? We have jewelry. We have um, playing cards. We have postcards. Easter postcards. Um, I have... What are, is that like cast iron? Are those cast iron? Or are they just some sort of metal? I feel like cast iron. They're like really heavy. Cast iron um, bookends. We've got tins. I've got advertising Easter vintage toys. And we have some fun items. Um, so it looks like we have a few people in here. Wow, amazing. So we just started doing sales on Thursday nights. Hi, Heather. How are you doing? <clears throat> so we are kind of new to the night game here. We're usually here in the morning, but my schedule has changed now where we're doing night sales. Hi, Jerry. So lots of fun items back here. Um, <clears throat> some of them you may have seen before. Some of them I've never shown. And we have a lot of jewelry items. And we're going to do something fun with the jewelry. It's going to be like a pick two with a low start and you can pick two items and then as it sells I have more Whoa. items to add. Hello Heather. Hello Jerry. So we have some fun items. We have a couple um a couple um like mysteries type things here. Well I think it might be just this one. So basically we have um all these Robin. Vintage... Hi Robin. Hi Robin. We have all these patches. They're they're not vintage but they're of different rock bands and stuff like that a dollar per pull just a fun thing here on the patches if you like old school rock and roll i guess there's some other ones in here like misfits and um jimmy hendrix is in here and these are the iron-on patches i know i saw pink floyd and i think there's a kiss one in here so just a fun thing if you like to do jean jackets or whatever i had some of these patches and just thought it would be fun to do add this to a, a little dollar mystery pull. So if anybody wants any patches, we have them available. We also have some fun vintage items, our add-ons for today. Um, what do we have over here, Gina? So if you purchase something and you want to add some, some items to your order, you could certainly do that. We have a tasty margarita. He's drinking a margarita. I'm trying it to go margarita from mm. a restaurant I like to go to. How is it? Oh, horrible. And I'm having Ooh. an Alani sugar-free energy drink. So these are pretty good. So we'll go over the usuals, as Miss Lorraine refers to them as add-ons. Yeah. We have, still have sets of the tin ashtrays. Uh, we have, I believe, three complete sets left with red, green, yellow and blue i only have a couple of blue ones left we've been selling these for quite a while so yeah they're the these, old tin ones when these last few sets are gone we'll only have red green and yellow for gold mm -hmm. these are five dollars for four we found that everybody was um doing crafts with them and some people that had the old you know the old aluminum tumblers that were colored similar to this loved them Oops. for uh like coasters, stuff yeah. like that. A lot of people do them with crafts. They, they look pretty cool on an aluminum tree. So, coasters, ashtrays. Not, $5 not will get you four of them. If you want specific colors, we can probably do that, except blue. <laughs> um, next we have, and those are new old stock. We have new old stock little bags of cello picks. For those of you that may remember, maybe I'm the oldest one here, so I don't know. Um, they're the old cellophane wrap toothpicks. Used to get way back in the day. 
And they're like candy striped. Yeah, they're like a candy cane pearl. Um, bag of them for two dollars. I don't know how many is in there. Quite a few. So those are available for two dollars. And then we have vintage popcorn bags here. We have about ten of them left. They are three dollars each, and these are from nineteen fifty four. New old stock on the popcorn bags. So again, these are just items you can add to your order. And these are Gala Hold Bob hairpins, the new better hairpin. We have these little guys mm -hmm. new in the box, new old stock, three dollars. Nineteen forties. Yep. Is what it says on the top here. And they are full of bobby pins or hold pins or whatever you want to call them. Bob hold. So mm -hmm. we have those. And those are three dollars each. Yep. And I think the last thing That's are it. the these. And I know you. These are from 1910, Ish. Germany. As far as we know, that's all we need to find about them. So, we do sell these little individual boxes. They're very cool. Let me take one out here. They are $3 a box. Gladolin, German. This is collar wax. So, there is a cube of collar wax in here, made in Germany. I think these are like 1910. So, new yeah. old stock here. There are directions in here, and there's also the collar wax inside. And these are three dollars each for the small box, or if you want a full case of them, they do display nicely. This is what they look like in the full box, and he's got a paper covered one here. This is one that's never been opened, so you take the paper off and it would show you the outside of the box. So if you want an individual little box, three dollars. The full big case of them is twenty. We have two of those left. We two have full, two, two, two full, full boxes ones. and then these singles. Yeah, so we've had those for a long time. All right, so there is our add-ons. So if anybody's interested in those, you can put it in the chat anytime during our sale, and we can set those aside for you. So how's Heather doing? This is a face I haven't seen in a while. We haven't seen Robin either, no. either in a while. I know. Jerry's in here all the time. I know though. Jerry's a regular. <laughs> um, are you going to uh, Springfield in September? Either Robin or Heather? Or Jerry. Or Jerry. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we've talked to Jerry before <clears throat> about going. I had a tickle in my throat. <clears throat> I have curious. my vintage necklace on today, and this is made from a, well, I should take it off and show it to you. It's made from a seafood spoon in Ohio. Oh. Is it strong? Ooh. No. No? I'll be dancing by the end of the show. Oh, Lord. I can get this off. i got to figure out how I have it on. There it goes. So I bought this um, at this craft fair. It was an antique craft fair. And this gentleman would buy antique spoons and make jewelry out of it. <clears throat> when is it? It's in September in Ohio, Springfield, Ohio. Yes. The Springfield Extravaganza. And it's great. Hi, Chrissy. But I'll show you. This is Chrissy my favorite. Hi, Chrissy. My favorite necklace. I bought it at this craft, uh, antique craft. And he would buy vintage spoons and make jewelry. But the seafood spoons were beautiful. And this one is a mermaid. So she has the um, shell above her. Oh, awesome. Well, we're glad that you stopped by. So you can see she's mermaid. She's beautiful. And he would um, weld a hanger on the back. So this is my favorite necklace. I wear it. They had another one I wanted to get, but they were a little pricey. So I only got one, but I'm, I'm glad I have it because these old spoons, you know, it's old. This is probably from the 1800s, the spoon, but now it's a beautiful necklace. So it shows how you can you know, reuse common things like a spoon or, you know, a piece of silverware and make it into something wearable. And for those of you that, um, if you see people in here you're not familiar with or whatever, check out their YouTube channels that they have yeah. or their Instagrams and subscribe where you can. Um, give us a thumbs up if you can. We're at 800. We only need 200 more people and we'll finally break 1,000. I've been trying for a few years now. Yeah. <laughs> 
three years have been trying to get over that <laughs> hurdle. Yeah, we were just kind of stuck. Well, that's okay. We appreciate y'all being here. Absolutely. We are going to jump right in. Um, I'm going to show you some of the jewelry first, and then we'll move into the, some of the stuff behind us here. Yeah, if you've never been to the extravaganza, you really should try to get to it. It's like a, at least two days. Yeah, it's a huge fairground. The entire fairground outside is covered with vendors. And all the buildings and even the open um, oh, barns or whatever that are there, they're all full of vendors. Everywhere you go, there's something to look at. We usually go there, get there Thursday night and go all day Friday, all day Saturday. And if we're really super enthused, we'll go back Sunday for a little bit. Yeah. You can buy one pass that'll get you in uh, all three days. Don't do like I did last year and buy a pass for each day, not realizing that you buy a pass for the first day oh and it gets you in for all three days. <laughs> I paid a lot for a ticket Artsy last year. Fartsy's here. I know who you are. You do. How are you doing? All right. So I'm happy to be here and I get to actually be happy because at my job, I'm dealing with people who have lost loved ones. So I'm dealing with sad people all day. And so now I get to deal with you people, which are happy. And me, which is a gift in itself. Oh, yeah, it is. His mom is getting out of rehab. She's been in rehab since her car accident. Not for drugs. No. Or alcohol. She broke her ankle, broke her <clears throat> sternum and her knee. She's still having problems with butt. She needs one more surgery on her knee. And she is moving in with us next week. So this weekend's going to be very busy. We are going to be moving my office down here. So I'll be working down in the basement all day for my job and then for this job. I'm not going to be leaving the basement. I'm going to get real pale and sickly. And he's just going to throw food down the clothes chute to me. Yeah, the clothes chute, I think, would be good. <laughs> I'll drop it down with a string. Yeah, string. Put the lotion on the skin or whatever he says. So this weekend we'll be doing that. However, on Sunday... That's when we're going to invoice and that's when we're going to uh, package everything up. So you can always email me if you see something after the fact and you're like, you know what? I saw that that swan baby rattle and I really want it. So I'm. you can just shoot me an email right here. Sweet Adeline at AOL.com. There's three E's in sweet. Let me know if you wanted to add anything on. We can do that for you, but I do need to know before Sunday. Okay. <laughs> So I already put it in the chat there. This is a $10 start. It's choice and you pick two items. I have put a bunch of different jewelry items on this tray and um, you can pick two. And then as it sells, I'll be adding more to the tray. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm gonna stand up and just like this and I'm gonna show you the tray. All right, so we have vintage clip earrings here. Oops. I don't know what stone these are. These are a screw back earring. There is a ring on here that looks like it's made from a spoon. Vintage a Siamese cat Avon brooch. Here's a silver ring here. We do have some watches, vintage watches here. Hey G, can you hold this tray for me please while I show things? Thank you. All right, and so we have some vintage watches. They're like the uh, expandable ones. Again, you're gonna pick two. This is a necklace with a beautiful owl. And it's on a chain here. Thank you for all the well wishes for mom. Yeah. She's gonna be 89. She this was in a head-on collision a week before Christmas and we're still dealing with all of it but she's getting a little better every day so this is a vintage brooch i'm trying to cover your face so it doesn't focus on you now this one has a little bit of a defect on it on this corner one of the stones is shipped but this is an old wow look who's brooch. stuck in hi tammy this i thought would be really cute this looks like a little handmade piece here just drop your tray just a little bit bub Drop it down a little bit, honey. Ah. Well, this is a handmade so pin here. Like uh, it is made by Mamir Collection Designs by Debbie out of Michigan. And so this is a handmade 
brooch. Be really cool for St. Patrick's Day. Look at the crazy hair. And it looks like it's um, it's made from a domino. That part is a painted domino. You can see the hand painting on it. There's also this hand painted domino piece here. And on the side, you see, so that's on a cord. Um, we have more vintage earrings here. See, Tammy, where's the king at tonight? These are really pretty, these vintage earrings. These are clips, but look at the age on them. It's like a filigree design. They're really neat. Um, I have like a little turquoise style bracelet with a prayer box. So this little box here on the bracelet does open up and you put a little piece of paper in there. I can figure out how to open it. Yeah, it opens up and you can put a prayer inside. I had one of these for my mom. I have it. There's that. This is another little handmade. This is signed on the back. This is glass. Kind of feels like it. You had a meeting. It must be a king's meeting. And it's signed by the artist on the back. You can see from 1998. Um, we have a beautiful ring here. And again, as stuff sells off this tray, we will, um, this ring right here, not my ring. This purple ring. As stuff sells off the tray, we will replace it with different items. If the queen may be take a, a diminutive position here tonight. That's why I'm so low. This one, I think, is marked Monet. Whatever, Gino. She's very mean. Yeah, this is a Monet pin. Monet brooch. So these are just some of the items on here. This brooch is beautiful, but it does have a condition issue. Look at the age on it. I bet you this is like Victorian. See the back and the pin does come through the end there a little bit, uh, but it is missing stones. But I thought maybe somebody could either repair it or repurpose it. It's a beautiful garnet I'm trying to cover his face so you can see it a little bit better. It is beautiful. So, yeah, these are this is a sneak peek. There's more on here. We have a glass heart pendant. So a bunch of really cool stuff on here. It is $10, a jade bracelet. You get to pick two items, and as it sells, we will replenish it. So if anybody's interested in jewelry, we have that. So let's go ahead and move on to the next item. I will close that out. Okay, next item we have, we'll do the owls. Oop. Here you go, up. Trying to figure out what happened to the chat. <laughs> okay this is a seven dollar start if i can get somebody to pay attention over here it's uk go or i think u-c-a-g-o these are made in korea use this u-c and g-c you don't okay. listen okay no i'm just telling you what the label says okay Seven dollars start on these owls. Who is gonna buy these? Who? Who? Is that margarita kicking in? I'm working on. Don't it. make me get my whacker out. I gotta say, to go margaritas are an excellent idea. So what do we yeah. have here? Awesome. This is four inches tall and about four inches long. No chips, no cracks. Not so far, but let me drop it. Here yeah, he probably will. <laughs> um, it is really adorable. I did buy a, a large bird collection. And so if you're looking for some cool birds, I got you covered. But this is the owl. And if you turn it around, the painting on it is really nice. This is made in Korea. And you said U-C-A-G. U, U, U Kago, right? No. What is it? You see Angie? Hold on. You looking in the hoe? You see Angie. 
UC and GC. Made in Korea. UC Juicy. UC Juicy. Yes. A mama owl and her babies. Zoom in on it there, Bob. <laughs> All right. I love the painting on the back of the owl here. Look at his little tushy. Very, very cute. And this little um, porcelain bird here is $7. Okay, Bob, you get to pick the next item. You pick. I can get him to stay off his phone. So it's the queen of, I'm on my phone all the time. No. What is this? That's very heavy. Is there a start? I'll type it in for you. I'm going to put pass here on this one. $8. A silver plate lattice metal flower frog basket. Good Lord. That's a lot. There's a lot going on there. This is an $8 start. It does have some weight to it. I've yeah. never seen one like this before. This is probably two or three pounds by itself easily. It's a lattice style basket with the handle goes up and down. You can see the holes in the top. I'll hold the top for you. does need a, a polish unless you like it like that. You can see the holes go in. You would fill this with water. And then you have your flowers coming out of the basket, basically. Uh, there's nothing on the bottom that gives me any indication. It looks like it had a sticker at one time, yeah, but it's one. come off. Um, what is this measure? Five inches by four and a half inches by three inches. Yeah. So a little floral basket. I was even thinking you could probably paint it. Spray paint what? it. If you wanted to, like if you wanted it to be like a pale pink or a tisket, a tasket, a green and yellow basket, and then you put your little flowers in there, I thought it would be really cute. All right. Um, so this is a silver plate lattice metal flower frog basket. The handle does go up and down. You can see the holes in the top there. And you would fill it with water and it's weighted on the bottom. And you just put your stems in there and it looks so beautiful. So this little basket is, what did I type in? Yeah, I typed in $8. I thought I typed in the wrong amount. $8. And so cute. So cute. Hey, RC Fartsy or anybody else that saw the previews on Instagram for something in particular you have an interest in, speak up and say, hey, I wanted to look at this or that. Or yep, we take you requests. see something behind us you're interested in, just speak up. While I grab a butter mint, what would you like to see? What's up next? Do you want us to pick? Or do you want to pick? Don't forget, we have our little patch pull here for a dollar. Rock and roll patches. We have for a one dollar. A wooden ruler. A nice oh, left in. Let me put your start in here. I'm I'm the starter today. It is a full six foot. Nothing's broke off of it. Hmm. Well, that's good. It works fine. Eight dollar start. On the ruler. What, how long is it? It's still six feet. <laughs> Did you measure it? Ridgeway, T, T, and, and petroleum. Oh, okay. What is that? Petroleum stuff. Petroleum stuff. Is it mainly um, oils hmm. and fuels or is it anything automotive? I have related? oil cans. Is it anything automotive related? We have some oil stuff over there. The mystery oil cans, I know I have three of those. Um, we, this should, ruler, we should have brought all our old gas pumps down here. <laughs> we don't have any. We don't have any gas pumps. I do have a five-gallon gas can. Okay, Stassi. Go lay down. So, great ruler here. These are, these are really great. Advertising. If you have anytime. any of these okay. that are broken, I didn't even realize this, but these make good... Like, to hold up pictures and stuff, you just put them down in there. This might not work because it's got something on it, but look it. 
Who thought of that? You could do a nice photo in right these, back. especially if you like, like um, advertising or rustic or, you know, these little rulers make really good. And you can put several pictures in there because there are several different slots. So in case you didn't know, now you do. So these rulers can come in pretty handy for that. Um, this one is $8 if there's any interest. And also, remember, we do take offers on stuff. So if we can um, work with you on the price, we will. We'll let you know if we're pretty firm on it. But for the most part, we're, we're pretty easy to get along with. All right. Up next, oh, I have a plushie. A plushie. Those advertising, there's a tin section, a wood section, and a glass section. I have it all sectioned by the um, product. Just because I'm organized like that. Ignore my dogs. They're senior girls. They're upstairs and they probably see a deer. Hi, Susan. All right. I couldn't find this guy online. I could find, and I actually have this from back in the 90s, but mine is more purple. This one I think is actually cuter. Oh no. The purple one that I have, worth like $80. Sell them for like $80 on eBay. I mean, it's all over the all over the map, but at least $60 to $80. I couldn't find this, this one, this color. The only one I could find was like a safari style one. That's not this one. So this is a $25 start. It's in really, really good condition. It is Eeyore, but he is a backpack. And I'm going to show you the backpack. And I used, I, I used to wear mine all the time. I loved it. So he is a backpack. He's got his little tail right here. And this one comes with the coin uh, purse, which is selling on eBay as well, this little guy here. So you're getting this little... You are free of charge, but he does unzip. And you've got quite a bit of room. He is marked uh, Walt Disney World on the inside here. There's no holes. There's no stains. He's in beautiful condition. I bought this from a lady. Her daughter collected Eeyore stuff, and her daughter is now going off to college. I can show you that up next. And so this Eeyore backpack is so cute i do have the one this color myself i've had it since the 90s this is the gray one and he is so sweet and just really really cool if you're going on a little road trip or something you could put like um just stuff in there and just grab it real quick um if you if you're going to disneyland anytime soon just a fun little fun little thing and he does have a hanger here at the top too so you can hang them on a hook if you want but this little Eeyore is $25 $25 he's just $25 I can't believe how much these are selling for online it's just crazy go on go on eBay and look at the backpack situation I don't know what what it is but I marked mine way lower yes um, can you bring me a, a, a basket or a tote? All right, we're going to set him right here. You want to see the, um, I do have tin noisemakers, but I don't have them over here right now, but I can show you the hair knot, hair nut hat box. We can do that next. I do have a bunch of Easter items. So if anybody wants to see Easter, we have that as well. Pass on the Eeyore for now. All right. So this one. And you guys can type in there whatever you want to see. If you see something behind me. And we can uh, we can line it up next. Okay. So this next item is a $10 start. This is old. So ringlets for casual and all-purpose wear by Regina. Part of the name Regina has been pulled off. Let me show you this hat. I should have Gino model it. So I have my poof. It's probably not going to come down 
over my little poof. Oh, but yes, yeah, so if I didn't have the poof there, you could see how it kind of comes down over my face. It does have a butterfly. It has two little butterflies on it and they're made of like velvet. You can see right there, right here. Um, so this is a velvet ring and this netting is hooked to it here and it just kind of drapes over if I have it right. Yeah, I think I do. It just hooks right over the top of this velvet hoop. So you can see it. really pretty it displays really nice because it does come with the original cardboard piece here and this would be really cool with some of our vintage bobby pins displayed with it too from the 1940s we have new old stock bobby pins you could get yourself a little ringlet hat and a box of bobby pins these are only three dollars and you can add those right onto your order but this hat is $10, and I did get this at an estate sale. I've had it for a little while. Um, but yeah, it's very, very cool. $10 on that. All right, where can I put this? That's all the problem. There's a raccoon in the backyard. There's a raccoon? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's eating all those bagels you put out there. Is the display cardboard? It is cardboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just a paper cone. Yep. Yeah, like a thick. It's cardboard. It's cardboard. Bum, bum, bum. What's up next? What would you like to see next? Don't forget, we have one dollar rock and roll patch full. Who know. wants a dollar rock and roll patch full? You can get some cool patches. You could have a Rolling Stone one. I'm just saying. Okay, so this I've had for a long time. This is strictly a display piece, okay? It doesn't work anymore, but it's still really cool. And it's in the original wrap. I added it in here just because I thought it was cute. So, do, do, do. So this used to be a noisemaker. You can see it says cow moo, right? Great graphics on this. I left it in the mesh bag that it came in. It is paper, but you would have turned it over and back over oh. and it would make a moo noise. We, we it doesn't it work. Huh? We presume it came in that. We don't really know for sure. Yeah, this is how they come. You know, yep, this is in the brand new, in, in the package. So it just doesn't work. I don't know if you can get it working, but uh, possibly. It probably dried out over the decades. So. Looking at the top, you can see there is an adorable little cow. Kind of. I don't know if you can see it through the mesh. So a little cow on the top here with a flower. I bought it strictly for display. It did not work um, when I when I bought it, but I collect vintage toys. And so I thought it would be really cute on a up in my little cubby in my little displays with all my cutesy stuff. And it's got the windmill. It's got some cows, there's birds on it. There's a baby cow, there's a brown cow. It's made in Taiwan too. Tammy wants 50 patches. Boop, boop, boop. 50? Yeah, since I'll take 50 patches, but we can do it later. You just want the whole bowl, huh? She's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we can certainly do your patches now. All right, so. And this is $8. If there's any interest, it's basically a shelf sitter at this point. Unless you're handy and you can get it to work. All right. Tammy. Ooh. We have patches here. And it is full. So it's mystery patch. How many would you like? Are you going to sew these on a coat for David? For the king? You could add him to his crown. Whenever he goes to a concert, he could wear his cape. You could make a cape for him, and he could just open it up, and it'll have all the patches there of all the concerts he's been to. Um, so if you want me to do them now, I can. There's all different kinds in here. Oops. 
rock and roll style ones. We got roses. That says music. There's the Rolling Stones. I know there's like Iron Maiden. So they're mostly rock and roll. There's Jimi Hendrix. <gasps> You're gonna sew on a jacket? Okay. You let me know. I'm gonna close my eyes and pick one. How many do you want? Just one? Fifty. She did not say fifty. Mm. There's probably Ooh. I'm guessing fifteen different patches. I that's just a guess though. I don't know how many. Ask her what band she's looking for. But there's also of the Beatles in here. So if there's a particular one you want, I can look in here and get it. Or if you want me just to close my eyes and pick one, we can do that too. Rancid. We've got the skull. I don't know what this one is. Trivium. There's Pink Floyd. This one says live to ride. So just some fun iron-on patches. Corn. There's a corn one. The bunny chick thing. What's the little bunny chick thing? Little bunny chick thing. You chick want thing. one of each? Okay. Mm. Is it that? Oh, maybe. Is it this up here? Here we go. Oops. Little funny. We've got lots of um no no Mary Man the little patches. So he can show that and I'll just go through and show you the ones that I have. Live to ride. My chemical romance. The Beatles. No Barry Manilow. I think I got one of my last AARP letters. Skull. We have music. Iron Maiden. Hi, oh, all in the it. attic treasures, Marianne. We have Hello. a rose. We have some skulls. We'll get to it in a minute. Go ahead. I'm just showing her the patches. You no, can go no, ahead. No, and that's okay. We've got the misfits. This is, it says vintage. It's made in Japan. It says on the bottom. Um, this Easy, little DC. fellow's or gal is three inches tall. She is a $10 start. It looks to me like it has what appears to be a cardboard base or a little paper base. Uh oh. Oh, I think this is, uh, isn't that Queen? That yeah. is, that is Queen. Um, so this, did you want me to put the start in for you? This is a start of $10. Yep. And, yep, start of 10 this is a made in Japan bunny. Don't know He's if we'll on, find um, one, but... I actually have one more of those to sell. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm selling them separate, but they are so cute. He's got um, paper and vintage pipe cleaners. His little ears are made of like, um, they're like velvet and the little knit hat. And it's marked Japan on the bottom. Take me home. We've got the skull hand. This basement is scary. This is Queen. We will rock you. I didn't do a skull. I think I did. Oh, that's uh, yeah, Queen. Yeah. I thought you said kiss. Nope. We've got Rock of Ages. Who's that? I don't know. Right offhand. Is it Duff Leopard? No. Uh, it's a. Uh, okay. Who's Rock of Ages? Is it, it's a... I go back. We've got the Rolling Stones. We have Black Sabbath. Bon Jovi. We've got a pink. Oops. We have a Jimi Hendrix. Iron Maiden. An Eyeball. There's more than 15, I guess. A Rock one. I already did that one. Def Leppard. Def Leppard. Was I, did I say Def Leppard? I don't think so. I think I did. 
bullet for my Valentine. What? I'm dropping them on the floor. Um, I may have already done Led Zeppelin, but there's Led Zeppelin. So these are just a dollar. There's a Kiss one in here. So if you saw any of those that you wanted, just let me know. Um, but I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them there. And they're just a dollar a piece. Yep. So just let me know which ones you want and we can bag those up for you. They're just a fun little add-on that we're doing tonight. Okay. So what's up next, G? We showed the little bunny. We showed the jewelry. We have some little... Um, I just refilled my Kool-Aid. This is, these are vintage metal bookends. And I am going to put the start in for these. I tried a, something that was magnetic. It stuck to these, so I'm going with cast iron. Oh. Okay, not a problem. I have a little pile of them here. So you figure out which ones you want, or I'll hold them up. You say yes or no. Old bands for Lori Ann's like new kids on the block and 98 <laughs> degrees and all what? that stuff. No, it's not. Yeah. No, I like ACDC. You like Madonna? No. What are you talking about? Cher. You're a big Cher fan. Mm -mm. No. I'm She's a, a Cher. I'm a rock and roll girl. She's a Cher. I like, I like the hair bands. All right. So I put this in. It's a $15 start. You want to hold that one up? $15? How tall is it? These are little mini ship bookends four inches tall four inches and they, do they have... are cast iron and they are not light just so you know mm -hmm. i'm guessing they're at least a pound a piece what's the, a more. in the glass jar on the table behind you it's empty this that, glass jar that's empty too there's nothing in that but air i think she's talking about that one we this can one? we have some advertising pieces that we can um, show you up next, Jerry, okay? I think that's the glass one she's talking about. We've got a, a pimento box. We've got some cheese. I've got a candy box. We've got some playing cards. They're really cute. Yeah. Yeah, what do I know? So these are really cute little bookends here. Oh, thank you, Artsy. <laughs> At least somebody thinks I'm sweet. Little mini ship bookends, really cute, up on your, um, or you could even use these as a doorstop if you wanted to. Yep. Now, the ones that I found of this online don't have the paint on it. These have the paint. The ones that I was showing that were selling were unpainted, but st the same mold. So it's very weird. Yeah. Can you show what back again? I did. I showed her the back. The back. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I need more Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah. So those are $15 for the pair of the cast iron bookends. All right. So I think this one right here. This is a craft okay. Romano cheese jar. It's four inches tall. This is a five dollar start. Five dollar start for craft vintage craft Romano cheese. Cute to put your tinies in marbles. It says shaker top, but I don't see a shaker. So it may have been a shaker in here at one point. Oh, there may have been. Mm -hmm. But the lid says shaker top. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. But there's no longer a shaker in it. Shake, shake, shake. The top. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. I suppose booty. there was something on there at one time. Oh. Five dollars. I really like this because of the red on it. 
Um, I love to put little tiny stuff in them and just display them up on a shelf. To be honest with you, it's really cute. It's also cute for little flowers. If you take the top off, you can put a little bouquet in there um, of little wildflowers or even, what are those called? They're weeds, basically. The little baby. We had snow earlier today, but breath. it lasted maybe 30 minutes. Came down like crazy it, and then it melted. The snowflakes were like this big coming down. I'm not even kidding you. It was crazy. I was working and I'm looking out the window and I'm like, holy moly. It was just, and then it all melted. I was driving. Jerry's it. in a five. And Jerry, you are our icebreaker today. So thank you very much. Jerry, I am throwing in. Made from cow's milk. Jerry, I'm throwing in some bobby pins for you. Thank you. For, right. breaking, for breaking the ice. You're giving she broke away the all ice. my bobby pins for God's sake. She broke the ice today. What am I going to do with my hair? I don't know. But... I'm putting you know this my in your little is. jar because this is coming to you. I haven't seen my hair in 30 years. All right. So Jerry's in at five. So we are going to start the countdown on, hey, on the boy. jar here for Jerry, Miss Jerry. So if there's any more interest in the vintage Romano cheese, get your bids in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bit end you got it and i'm throwing these bobby pins right in this jar who I said did. you could do that i did I'm boss lady um you didn't get me up you know what i bought let me show you this no you don't smell it do you smell anything it smells like you a little bit Stop it. Does not. It's fish fillet box. Oh, imagine that. I was cleaning it and I used a um, Clorox wipe and I started wiping it out and all I could smell was fish. It's so, it's a little rough, but look at this fish fillet box. No comment. You better shut up, Gino. Highliner large fillets. I thought it was really cool. We got this at an estate sale. I didn't think to smell it before I bought it. It doesn't really smell. Look, she is laughing at you because she, you said that. You apologize it's, right now. <gasps> you know what we forgot? What did we forget? Yeah, of course I for, know what we forgot. That's what why I forgot What have you been it. forgetting to do, Gino? A pencil pull. I'm going to have to go have, back and get another takeout margarita. To read we have the here. pencil pull, too. We have pencils. Do you and, remember? And we have takeout margaritas here. That's pretty good. There, you get four for a dollar. Four for a dollar. Four pencils. pencils but one some, dollar. Of them, some of them might be new pencils. Okay. You may get a new pencil, but it's still a pencil. But there are vintage pencils I mean, in you here. Can, I don't think you can buy a pencil for 25 cents anymore. So, so there's, some nice pencil pull. there's some nice advertising ones in there. There is. We Somebody got a bunch of the advertising ones from us last time. Yeah. Out of one pull. That one. There's one pencil in here that has $10 off your shipping, too. So, all right. So, if anybody wants a pencil pull, Gino does you them for you all night. For an hour, long. I hold them up and I just start pulling them out. And for every four you buy, you get one re pull for something that you don't like. Yeah. I'm going to go set this over on the table so it doesn't get broke, Gino. Pull the next item. See all them pencils in there? Focus, Gino. Focus. It's a funny thing we started doing because we kept running into pencils everywhere we went. So, we just started picking them up. No, do you remember where I bought that whole can of pencils? Highway 127 sale. Yeah, I bought a whole. We went to the Highway 127, and there was um, somebody selling a whole coffee can of pretzels. Pretzels? Did I say pretzels? You did. A whole coffee <laughs> can of pretzels. Um, so we pretzels. end up buying we end up buying pencils instead. Pencils. Now this. Oh, let me put it in. There's got to be somebody out here that surely they can appreciate. Surely, this. don't call me Shirley. Perhaps you have a. And my name's not Shirley. Perhaps you have a coworker that would greatly appreciate this next item. It's five dollars start. Dumb things I gotta do. Inside we have a list of dumb things you gotta do, and the whole book is dumb things you gotta dumb do. Dumb things you gotta. It's just a it's notebook. Yeah, there's probably 30, 40 pages in here that say. Dumb things I got to do. Good thing to keep in your purse. And you can always yeah. refill it when it runs out. You can always put another little notebook I in there. I think you just, you pull them off 
sideways and they're sticky on the yeah. maybe maybe sticky. Yeah, I don't know. But I it mean, might be before. When are you going to see dumb things I got to do again? I mean, these <laughs> are the kind of things that we bring to the we bring, people. We, we bring these to the people. Yeah. It is fancy. Fancy. Is that yep. a mosquito? Yep. That's a bee. Oh. Because he's getting into a. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is a bee. Yeah, that's a mosquito. Shut up. She's from Ohio. I'm from Michigan. We know that's a bee. I didn't see the honey thing. I just saw it looked like a mosquito. Problem is, the mosquitoes are so big in Ohio, she got them confused. No, it didn't. So, there's that. Dumb things I got to do. I can't believe nobody here is interested in dumb things I got to do. Oh, my gosh. She drove all the way through blizzards from California to Washington. Who are you watching, Tammy said. Are you watching something on your phone? I don't know. About? I don't know. All right. I don't think there's any interest in your dumb thing book. I can't believe it. I'm really disappointed that nobody wants a dumb thing book. Yeah, I'm disappointed too. I just, I mean, I might keep it myself and. It, you know what? It would be a long list for you. You know what? I think I'm going to take that next time we play cards and start writing things down. Ah, are you? Mm hmm Okay. Don't forget, we have the jewelry tray. Um, it could either be $5 choice or $10 choice. You pick. All right. Up next, you want to type in California to Washington, D.C. We drove California to Ohio. And that was enough for me. I drove from Ohio to California in 2000 and California to Ohio in 2022. So. All right. <clears throat> this is whoops. It's a whoops. We have a whoops sale. This is a ten dollar ten dollar whoops start. Where and I come on. There we go. Ten dollar start. This is a vintage Louis Sherry candy box. Okay. It's a tin. A candy tin. Beautiful for Mother's Day. Beautiful for Valentine's spring. Look at it's got the tiny little violets on the front, the side, the back. Look at that dish with the violets. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know why I get an Art Nouveau feel from this box, but I do. Um, it is. It says Canco on the bottom. Now there is, you can see, it's kind of bent out just a little bit on the front. It doesn't really take away from it. Clothes is pretty good. But you can see how it is bent out just a little. Bit. You almost have to push in on it if you wanted to have it close. Oh, it, it closes, but. It's bent out on the back. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, you can probably bend that back. So that's what he's talking about right here. Just a little bend out it's on the back. Just in that corner. Yeah. So beautiful. It's like a lavender with those little tiny violets in the bowl. And then it has the L and S on the end. Gorgeous. Um, I did a craft along with Tammy the other night on her channel and I made some paper flowers and I just set them in there, but look how pretty that is just to set them in the tin. That's um, lovely, oops. lovely. It is. But you could put, um, you could certainly put flowers in there. You could put some, some Valentines or something spilling out of it. It looks really, really cool. So, yeah. We have that. We're just going to set it right there. This is the inside of it. So the Louis Sherry from Paris, New York. Paris and New York. And that is ten dollars. Why don't you go look through your advertising stuff see if you can make car stuff over there? I'm okay. I didn't know this. Um, we'll have to just get it next time. All right. Up next, we're just gonna keep moving through stuff. Do you want to grab that stack right there? Yeah. Uh oh, buy for playing cards. Yeah. It's one of those things we always try to source whenever we go out. We can find nice ones. 
All right, so these are double card sets here. I'm gonna type in pass on that. This is a $7 start. Choice, $7 start, choice on these. I did check them last night, they are complete. This is the first choice here. Beautiful flower playing cards here in their plastic container. Uh, I don't think they've been used at all. They're in really nice condition. So if you use these for crafting, um, you're getting quite a few cards in this lot, but they are beautiful. What are those, um, pansies? Yeah. So this is the pansy lot here. That is the first one. Again, $7 start, and you're going to get choice pansies. These are adorable. Those are seven dollars as well. Yep, Congress. It's choice, hon. Here's the cards inside this one. Really, really cute. I know a lot of people will use these if they have an antique booth for pricing. These would be really cute for that. Then we have this set here. This is Congress 2. And you're getting the fish. And I think the turtle is still in the plastic. The turtle is still in the plastic on this one. And then this one's in a glass and wood case here. This is a sporting one. the green and the burgundy on that. These have not been played with either. These are in brand new condition. There's that one. And I saved my, my favorite for last. These are Congress as well. Salutone finish. And Don't break it. Don't break you. Are those used or still wrapped? Um, these are still wrapped. It's a really cool set um, with the dog. A little Eskimo set. So those are your choices for playing cards. $7 start and it's choice on those. Five different options. Doesn't look like anybody's into playing cards. Nobody was in it with jewelry. Wait, nobody's into anything tonight. It's oh, very right. quiet tonight. All right. What do we got next, Bob? What is that? This, it goes with that red piece right there. This? Mm-hmm. This is a little cake topper. It's not complete. But it is vintage. And it's a... Thanks. Let me get you set up. Here you go. You can hold this up. This is a $5 start. If, I could, if this thing worked, it would be really good. See, I hate that. Ugh. So this is a vintage Wilton cake. Um, you're lurking. That's okay. We don't mind. You are going to get the um, little... Thing that he has on top of his head there which is the carousel top and then these little flags I think go in there yeah so I think these go in here like this it's not complete but it's still really really cute Maybe I always that. think of myself as quite fancy Mary. no you're not I'm fancy you're not People tell me that all the time. Gino, you're fancy. Okay, so they go into the top like that. There's still some holes there, but you get the drift. And then, are, you want to hold you, that? Are you missing some of them? Is that what you're saying? I said it's not complete. 
Oh, it's not complete. And then you get the little sticks that come down. There's four of them with the horses on it, the vintage um, horses. And they go in the little holes underneath here, but it isn't complete. There's only four horses. Still, it looks really cute. Um, yeah, he is so fancy. You ever heard this story about the four horsemen? Oh, my God. <clears throat> here they are in the plastic flush, so to speak. So $5 will get you this whole carousel vintage Wilton Thanks, cake topper. Yeah, he's fancy, all right. Just like the king. We're both fancy. You have so many sets of playing cards, huh? Me too. You don't say. You want five more? <laughs> I have more than that. I have a whole bin over there of playing cards. These are just some of the double ones. Yeah, you got to understand, we have a ton of stuff in this basement. Yeah. It's not just a couple things we found on the weekend. We are This is packed. years of living in California and bringing all that stuff back here and also a couple years now of wandering around here. And I have a whole shopping cart full of vintage Happy Meal toys and just other stuff over there. And cake if that's toppers. not bad enough. Happy used... Meal toys and cake toppers. I have a lot of them. When we used to fly back here to visit, we go to estate sales and garage sales and pack our luggage to take stuff back to California. Whatever. That in turn got... Okay. So if anybody's is ship, they ship back here when we move. If anybody's interested in um no, I don't I looked because you know what I had some of those and I sent them to somebody as a little gifty gift. So none of the old McNuggets, I did have some, but they're gone now. What? Um mm -hmm. because that person was looking for them. You gave away so, all my McNuggets? You you don't have your nuggets no more? You got Usually them. they're in my back pocket. Yeah. Okay, listen. If anybody wants any Happy Meal toys or vintage cake toppers, I have a whole shopping cart right there, and you can just wheel it over here, and we can do them a dollar a piece. Thank you, Mary Ann. It's nice to get a vote of confidence every once in a Gino while. Gino is a blessing. Lori Ann, my other half, could care less about my channel or reselling. There you go. Honey, you want to kiss the ring? No, I don't. You want to kiss the ring? You're going to be rubbing my feet later. It. No. I just got that rash cleared up off my hands from last time. First, you say that about that and then that. Apologize. I'm not the one that got the fish palette. It's a box. The fish box. This doesn't sound good. Shh, don't say that no more. You got a fish box? No, stop. Stop it. He doesn't. Oh, not do I that. didn't start it. I'm now you got Helen laughing alone. and Kathy. I don't smell. I smell good. Do I smell good? Mm. Yeah. Do I smell good? Wait, Absolutely. I should put it at your throat. Do I smell good? That's right. That's what I thought you said. He's in, he, well, I almost said the F word. <laughs> Listen, Tammy, you're rubbing off on me a little bit. Hey, look. <laughs> I almost said that. We're in the basement, so Laurie smells really good down here. I hope your toenail falls off. It probably will after <laughs> next week. Mm. Okay. What would you like to see next? You want to see cake toppers? You would never say the F word. Sure. <laughs> I've Hold heard on. you say it. Hold on. I'm going to get out of the way here. I don't want to get heard. struck by lightning. Fresh. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I'm whacking him for something. <laughs> for you even saying that. Not live. No, not live. You would never, ever do that. Anyway. Let me see your eyes. Moving on. Are they clouded over? I or? almost said that. <laughs> Kathy said my toenail did two weeks ago. <laughs> uh, I always say that to him. I really don't mean that as toenails. Clowns really and ballerinas. Did we have a clown? What was that clown thing we were just trying to sell recently? It didn't sell. Remember, a couple weeks ago we had something clown related. Was ballerina. Or I feel like we had something ballerina too. Oh, we had some clown. Though. There's a clown book. It's super creepy. Where's that at? I don't know. It's probably with the books over there somewhere. I get it. I don't know. Somebody said cake toppers. So, a dollar a piece, cake toppers, dollar a piece, um, happy meal toys. Clown thing now. 
Okay, he's distracted. So, I have blow mold eggs for Easter. These are vintage blow mold eggs. All different colors of these. They are $10 a piece. If there's any interest in the blow mold eggs. I have bigger ones too. But these are, you know, she met kick toppers, ding dong. I have the cutest clowns ever. If you like clowns, I have cute, cute clowns. We're going to do this real quick because I love these little wooden boxes. And this is a mellow bit box. And it doesn't smell. It's a pim pimento cheese. She wants cake toppers, which are in the shopping cart over here. Okay. Oh my gosh, see what you started. All right, I'm gonna put this in. It is a $10 stopped. And this is a vintage pimento box. The melto bit pimento box. It does have a little hole on this end, but it doesn't take away from it at all. So the cake toppers, there are a couple things in there that are not considered cake toppers. This is one of them. That one's not. You selling your beer? No, those are not cake toppers. Well, I know they're not cake you're, toppers. You know, I'm trying to do something. You're distracting me. Huh? <sighs> Pimento box. This is the bottom. It measures. No more margaritas for you. Nine inches oh, long. I only got one for Pete's sake. There's three of them that you had her put in there, right? Isn't that what you said? No, it's only you saw it was one cup. You put it, yeah. Two and a half inches tall. This is the mellow bit pimento pasteurized processed cheese. A the great Atlantic and Pacific A and P tea company. No, I think that says tea company. Yeah. The Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company, New York, New York Distributors. Yeah. Really cute. I know that a lot of people will use these to put stuff in, in your little um, vignettes, right? Put it up there. You put some, some stuff in there. Look it. You have a ruler. We're going to just put a ruler in there. You got some fake flowers. Yes, you we put do. your fake flowers in there. That's um, a very old, very heavy, small. There you go. Um, There's a, a patch. There's a patch in there and your uranium flashlight. Look at that. You saw my flashlight. It looks really cute on a desk now. Look, you've got a ruler, a flashlight, and a patch. You saw my Look flashlight. Look at that. No, I'm showing the options that you can do with this pimento box. I'm not selling your flashlight, for gosh sakes. Calm yourself down. And if anybody wants to know how to make the paper flowers, there's a tutorial on Tammy's channel. So be sure to go over there and follow Tammy. And Tammy, if you want to put your link in there, and if anybody has a channel link, put it in there. Tammy's the Vintage Uprising Texas, by the way, if you're not following her, you need to. And Ariana's in here. Ariana, those are, um, yeah, look at, he got so excited right now. Did you see that? It was a little weird. A little weird. Like your voice went up six octaves when I said. She's my adopted daughter. Oh my goodness. Okay. My poof is all messed up. Um, these are Charlie Bears. And Gino used to get these for me all the time. They're from the UK, and they have different names. Yeah, there was a distributor in San Francisco I used to go through to get them. This one is... And that kind of disappeared, so... What is his name? William the Fifth. Okay. This is William the Fifth. There's all different ones here. He's so cute. This is William. This is one of my favorites and one of my first ones I got right here. Look at his tummy. And this one is Ross, and he is a panda bear. You have to be the blue smurf. <gasps> ah. Oh, I gotta make you. I gotta, I gotta. Anybody that wants their link in there, just speak up and we'll make you a blue smurf. 
a blue swan. How do I do that? I haven't done this so, so long. Well, that's not how. I don't know how to do it. Oh, come on now. Um, so this is Ross, but I have like five of them. There's more in that, in the baby thing over there. You can, I think, I don't know if they make them anymore. They may not, uh, but they're called Charlie Bears. And they are, um, this is the, I'll show you real quick. I have to do it from my phone. Okay. This one here is the koala bear and his name is Kenneth. This is Kenneth. Look at his little face. Look at his belly. <laughs> That's Kenneth. Ah! And then this one. Diesel should be down here too. I think that one was my first one you got me. Oh no, that's not that's not a Charlie Bear. This is Boyd's. That's a Boyd. Yeah. This one is William the Third. William the Third. What is this? No, that's a Stife Bear. I have a lot of bears, guys. I think. Diesel's upstairs, but Diesel was my first one, and he's my very favorite. I think he's up on the guest bed. This is a Stife, and he growls. Can you hear him? Probably not. You're distracting me, handing all these. I got to figure out how to Here. put Tammy. And this is, they're full of dust because they're not like a. Not anymore. They're. they're in a um, baby crib over by our stairs and stuff falls, dust gets on them. This is a huge um, void, I think. Mm -hmm. Jointed. Yeah. Lots of teddy bears. I love teddy right. bears. Start making people all sorts of Okay, bears. let me figure out how to get. There's no way to do it. I don't know how to do it. How do you do it? I know I've done it before. More. I don't know how to do it. It's not working. Usually I thought I would just touch your name and it would be an option. But it's not there. Hit the three dots. It says star comment, delete comment, put user in timeout, or ban user and delete their comments. That's all it says. Sure you've done this before? I thought there was something there, but it's not there anymore. And that is from my phone. It's not letting me. Don't touch anything. I'm touching. Okay. Up next. Did you touch these three dots yeah. over here? No blue for you. Don't touch that. Stop. You're going to mess it all up. So you always got to touch it with your finger. All right. Doesn't say, it I'm doesn't let me do it. It does not let me do it. And I don't know why. But anyway, you guys know how to find her. Vintage Uprising, Texas. Um, yeah. Go the to her channel. Cottage is a good yeah. Uh, Kathy, do you have a channel? Jerry, anyone? See, look, Art, he distracted me. I am trying to do cake toppers here, oh. and you're in my way. I'm practically... This we don't need. This is all kinds of cake toppers here. Now, we'll say a dollar a piece, okay? I have... Oh, I have vintage ballerinas. Ooh, those are a dollar for the whole bag or what? If they're a dollar a piece, hon. A bag? Stop. We have little vintage hats. I've got balloons. There's vintage um, 101 Dalmatians. I have a lot of Disney stuff here. Happy Meal toys. I mean, there is a lot in here. Batman. This All shopping cart Disney. is full. We need our shopping cart. Look at these little telephone. You want a large ballerina? Oh, this is all. I could probably do a little dance for you if that would help. This me. is all Happy Meal toys and stuff. All right. 
Let's open up this ballerina bag here and see which ones you want, okay? So I think there's different colors in here. These are the, the classic. It looks like I have gold, blue, and one pink. Can you take that, hun? I would love to. This is what the gold one looks like. Hi, Grace. This is what the pink one looks like. These are new in the package, and then I have the blue. So those are the options on the ballerinas. There was small and large? I don't know. These are the only ones I saw. Those are probably the large ones. Anybody like um, Disney? Because I have a bunch of Disney. Tammy. Tammy. You little stinker butt. Are you, are you causing trouble? These are football players. These are not ballerinas. These are these are baseball players. Baseball players. Who the heck does Sim hide? Gino, please. We're turn that off. See what he pulls? Okay, let's okay, so ballerinas. Ballerinas. Yes. This is what we have. I have four gold, two blue, and one pink. And how big are these ballerinas? It's okay, Gina. We don't need to measure them. We They're do. just cake toppers. We do. Okay. Give me one to measure. So, Tammy, you want all three colors. So that's going to be blue, pink, and gold. Done. Artsy fartsy, you want ballerinas? I have three gold and one blue. I have to tell you, the gold ones are my favorite. I don't know why, but something about their little gold tutu. I think they're adorable. Oh, you want $20 worth? Oh my goodness. Holy moly. You want Disney ones? We'll just dump the whole cart in the box. Yeah. Okay. So, Gino, what? can you do me a favor? You want to mark those for who they're going yes. to before you lose track and make me I am going to send these four to Artsy Fartsy. All right. Artsy Fartsy, you got four ballerinas. I'm marking those for you right now. She wants some Disney. Okay. So, and then, Tammy, I got your... This is for King David's helper. Can you do me a favor and get a, the, the basket over there and put the sold stuff in the basket over by you, please? What basket? Please help me. I'm trying. What basket are you talking about? The white basket over there. Do you know what the white basket looks no, like? I don't. It's a laundry basket, Gino. It's the only white one over there. Okay. I'm going to need a vacation real quick. All right. Vintage Uprising, Texas. You got three ballerinas. We got it. You Next, go, we're going to take a look here for Mary. And she wants $20 worth. So... We need to get a, a bag to put those in. So just find something over here. So, do you want just cake toppers, right? No Happy Meal toys, just the cake toppers. I'm going to move this jewelry out of the way because this is getting serious now. We're not messing around anymore here. Let me move this. Hopefully that didn't work out well. We're going to set it right there there we go okay all kick toppers got it here you go you got the french rose box you, know, you gotta hold that thank you it's getting sassy all of a sudden
we have Pocahontas. Here. I got the basket already. We've Jeez, got please. 101 Dalmatians. That's two. Do you want vintage ones too? These are vintage baseball ones. We'll put that in there. Is that considered three? Uh huh. Okay. And then we have Jasmine. Four. I've got vintage hat. That's a cake topper, but it's a vintage hat. Five. This is Where's Waldo. It's so cute, and to be honest, I didn't even know I had him. But it's a Where's Where's Waldo. Six. Gino's keeping track for us. This is a two little telephone people here. They're on their phones. Nineteen. Oh wait, seven. I'm trying to find different ones. This is Jeannie. This is an Aladdin one. Telephone, please. Eight. That's eight. These are for Mary, right? Mm hmm. This is like a card ta uh, pool table or something. I'm not sure. Some sort of a game table. Nine. Look at this one. This is vintage. Um, what is it? This little like Looney Tunes guy here with some balloons. Who? I don't know what he is. It's he's the vintage guy on the little cart with the balloons. Ten. That's ten. We got oh another Pocahontas. Eleven. We got a lot of Pocahontas. I think this is a um, Power Rangers. Twelve. I'm trying not to duplicate when I can. I think I have more in here. Um, these are cake toppers here. This one's got a Mickey in it, a Barbie. Here's a Batman. Wait, no, that's a Happy Meal toy. The problem is I've mixed my Happy Meal toys in my cake toppers. Hold on a second. What are we at? Well... R.C. Parsi's trying to get the telephone one from Mary. I have more of the telephone ones, I think. All right, do they have to be in the wrapping? Because I have um, some out of the wrapping. I'm just looking. Oh, I have a Bugs Bunny. This is like a Space Jam, Space Jam Bunny. 13. And you know what? I think this goes with it. That goes with it. Okay. We got a blue hat. 14. Vintage conversation. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Another genie one. 15. Here is um, Star Wars. 16. I'm trying to get you different ones. I'm going to throw some balloons and a little pennant in for free. So, 16. And some um, palm trees. Nice. I think this, this guy we're going to throw in too. He is with that one grouping. What is this? I think this goes with the dogs. It's like a little pennant thing that goes with those. So it's 16. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to see what's in the bottom of the bag here. I got lots of Pocahontas. All right, so that's mostly Pocahontas. We need four more items. Yep, and I got them right here for you. Hi, Nanette. We've got Mickey Mouse. 17. Hi, Nanette. We have 
I haven't seen you in a while, dear. Barbie. 18. We're up to 18. We are. I have thrown all of these cake toppers in here and they mix with the Happy Meal toys. Which there's another Jasmine and another Pocahontas. That's 19 and 20. Yep. And I'm going to throw this extra little guy in here. And you know what? I'm going right. to throw another Jasmine in for free. All right. I'll mark this one for Mary. Yep. So this is your box of vintage goodness. Did you have any more telephone stuff? Yep. Go I'm going to look right now, but let me write this down for Mary. Artsy fartsy one. Some telephone stuff. Okay. These little vintage hats are really cool, too. I'm so glad that somebody's wanting this stuff because I bought it thinking it was so cool. And then, um, there it sits in our shopping cart. Just had it for a long time. Um, sort of balloons. All right. So you wanted the telephone. I have this one. She she likes the clown hands. Oh, the cupcake picks. Yeah, I like those too. I don't know if I have any in here, but I can definitely look. I have a lot of vintage cars and stuff. That's Halloween. It's just a free for all. Oh, look at what I found another horse that goes in that one bag. We've got the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. That goes with this here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Tammy. Tammy, you in here? Look what I found. I can make one of these into one of my cone things. I have an elephant head. I didn't even freaking know it. We got a new version of the cone head coming out. These are all old Happy Meal toys. I'm looking right now. That's Halloween. Mary, it wouldn't hurt to resend your information just to make sure what we have is current. I recognize your name, but you know our our contact list is About four time. or five years old now, and uh, it doesn't hurt just to make sure we have it current. In we're dumping them in there. Things that got transferred from one computer to another and all that good stuff. So, sweet Adeline, three E's and sweet at AOL.com. Just a double check. It's probably fine, but it never hurts to make sure. Oh, Mary, I found Chewbacca. He goes with the other dude, so he'll, he's coming in your box too. Okay? Good Lord. Yeah. Got I'm five looking pounds for, of cake There's a lot. Supposed to find the telephone. Well, the, I bought this collection from somebody that um, used to do cake, and it was it's mostly oh, Disney. The only two, um, look at the beast, throw the beast in her box, too. Um, the only two telephone people I have are these two. There's there may be more buried in this cart, but I have these two vintage telephone goobers here. You want. Dollar a piece or a dollar for the pair? Yeah, it would be it would be a dollar per piece. They're separate. So if anybody's interested in any of these um, Happy Meal toys or cake toppers, let me know. Okay, artsy fartsy, I got you. You want both of them, dear? I'll take them at the zoom so. Yep, they're cute. I did have a girl one too. I need to go through and organize this because it's. Just all dumped if in there. If we find it, we'll let you know. How's that? I have vintage, like, old plastic toys mixed in there. Like, from the 50s, so. All right. Well, that took a turn. Okay, I, I got you. the copy card over sooner. You should have. It's any, just uh, been parked over there. Oh. Any Happy Meal toys? We have them all from... What? You collect those? The 90s? Yep. 80s and 90s Happy yeah. Meal toys. Brand new Happy Meal toys in the wrapper. Still with the Check French fry them. grease on them. Yeah, there's some good ones in here. How much do you want for those? They're all a dollar on the Happy Meal toys. And there's some good ones in here. Girls on phones. Any ballerinas or girls on phones? I don't know if there's any more buried in here. There might be, but. Oh. 
I'm not going to tell you what I just found because I've looked and I thought for sure I didn't have any, but I just found a Halloween McNugget buddy, McBoo McNugget. That is so that funny. I don't know. I don't, I, I swear I went through this whole cart. This is an old Snow White. This is Cabbage Patch Kids. These are old, um, Happy Meal toys. Well, of and course you I, have him. You got everything, Tammy. Look, and then I have old toys mixed in. So it's a hot mess. I need to go through this. The so. king has provided for you, Tammy. <laughs> yeah. So apparently, yes, I do have a boo nuggy. Um, do you want to scoop this out of the way? That way you can scoop back in. Okay, we're going back. All right. On schedule here. Say goodbye to the magic shopping cart, kids. I bought that shopping cart at a garage sale last year for $10. And it's from A and P, right? Yep. I think it's from A and P Grocery Store. It's so cute. It's one of the little ones. Oh my God! She, I went to bring it downstairs. I swear the thing weighs fifty or sixty pounds. This is all steel, welded, chrome plated. You want twenty cheap. Happy Meal toys? Bring the cart back over, bud. Ah, for Pete's sake. <laughs> and just mix them up. Okay. I'll have Gino go through and show the next item, and I'll trade seats with you. I'll grab. I'll grab some Happy Meal toys for you, okay? All right. I'll tell you what. I only got one to-go margarita tonight. That's a beautiful thing that came out of COVID is to-go drinks. So. There's also a whole That's thing it. on the floor in front of you, hon. Ooh. There's a whole bin of ah. just jewelry in the blue bin on the floor. Ooh. If Holy moly. In it, jewelry on the floor. It's right by your feet. All right. Well, I'm not so, a big jewelry person. So, Gino, what? The whole bin on the floor in front of you is 20 bucks if anybody wants it. All right. We have another $20 option coming up. All of this for 20 bucks? Yeah. Holy moly, man. I know. It was like five or six pounds of jewelry in this. It's twenty dollars for the whole basket. All right. It's necklaces. I presume earrings. I don't know. I don't wear earrings. Yeah, Marianne. It, it, but it went down. Woo. My lips are all margarita. Up. This is. I guess earrings, earrings, uh, I don't know what the heck those are, there's a whole box here full of jewelry for $20, the first person that tells me they want the box of jewelry for $20 gets it, no ifs, ands, or buts tonight, what the heck is that? I don't even know what half this stuff is. And then there's that. Um, that. More earrings, I presume. Pins and all kinds of stuff. This is a jewelry clearance sale. You absolutely can't go wrong for this whole this whole box for twenty bucks. I am shocked, to be honest with you. More stuff. Good lord. Bunch more necklaces and, and stuff. A whole package of it here. This is all part of the twenty dollar bundle. More stuff. 
I got a whole box $20. of Happy Meal toys. I'm, I'm busy here. Don't be interrupting me. Set up for you for 20 I think I threw an extra one or two in there for you. $20 for the whole box, man. $20. How can you turn this offer down? Nobody wants it. It's fine. Come on, Grace. More stuff here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Well, our card is a little lighter now. Last chance on the $20 basket old jewelry. <laughs> All right. Nobody wants it. I can't believe it. Well, at least she tried. Was this like a toe ring or something? I don't know. Won't fit on any of my toes. Oh, there's another one over there. All right, what else we got here? Uh, we have a sugar and a creamer. Yep. I'm going to put this on my craft desk. All right, let's see if I can get it. You know, Mary, your your daughter would probably be extra thrilled if she got a big box full of jewelry. Just saying. <laughs> You're so weird, Gio. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but we're just going to go ahead and do it. No. You got to hit the... I did like eight times. I know. It takes a couple times to do it. All right. Start of $8 on the vintage cream and sugar set. See, ah. Sorry, the seat is so low. Macbeth Evans opalescent sugar and creamer. Sugar, sugar. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, honey, honey. Yeah, I definitely need a another margarita with the singing going on here. What? These are... Oh. What do we have here? Aw, Grace, you want some cake toppers? We have cake toppers and Happy Meal toys. Three to three and a half inches tall-ish. Eight dollar start. Macbeth Evans Opalescent Vintage Cream and Sugar Set. Sugar Could sugar. be yours for a mere eight dollars plus shipping in here. Oh, honey, honey. No, wait, there's more. No, there isn't. That's it. You want to switch seats back so you can sit in your low chair? Let's see. And you got me wanting you. Well, Mary, if you have tons of jewelry, it won't hurt to add another five or six pounds worth. Okay, you want to reach something down? Oh, that's water. Thank you, Mary. Sugar, sugar. I'm out of Kool-Aid. Dave's gonna kind of start tapering off now. We have, um, we have vintage. Yeah, I know. I was trying to get her to do that, and what? she just the clowns and the ballerina stuff. Someone wanted clowns and ballerina. I don't have any more ballerinas. You guys bought them all. I don't know if, what's in wow. that part. I think it's mostly. I gotta sort it, but I don't think there's any more. Um, but did you? Did you really look? Yes, I did because I think I had sorted them out earlier and put them all together. That's I why they were all in one bag. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure. I don't know about that. If I if I have time to sort them, which I might cupcake not. Cupcake clones. Oh, cupcake! I have some up there. I use them in my crafts, and I have a whole big jar. I don't want to show you my jar, but let me show you anyway. Oh no. I do. Are you going to sell any of them? Look at. Don't tease everybody. Oh, those are all cake toppers. Look at that. Ooh are those from my dad? Yeah. These are not for sale because these are ones that Gino used to her, His dad used to decorate cakes. And these are ones from Gino's childhood. And so we have them all in here. But look at those Christmas ones. Back in the great. very late 60s and so very early 70s, my dad often got into cake decorating. He worked at General Mills in Toledo. And uh, yeah, I just got this sudden interest in uh, 
cakes and all things cake related. And he had, I don't know. This is vintage. It was interesting to see a guy that had a fuse about that long do cake decorating, which took just tons and tons of patience. But he did it because he enjoyed doing it. Bonk. All right. He also built a ship at that time that I still have. We're getting off track, as usual. Short. We're all over the place all the time. It's a hot mess. I have a beautiful version of the Cuddy Sark. All right. All handmade, hand painted, with over 5,000 hand tied knots, all beeswax for preservation. Okay. If yeah. anybody wants something like that, please let me know because I'd like to find a new home for it. All right. So we have, and this is a, I think it's $7 start. For the bowl? $7 start. You want to type that in for me? I can't reach it. Far, you're in my way. Oh, my goodness. These are little garlands. They're not old. They're vintage inspired. You're going to get a whole little garland kit here. It does come with the twine to hang them up. Well, let me show you what's in each one. I have two, four, I have six available, and they're $7 per set. Hold on, we got to stop Mary Ann feeding for a minute. There's your twine to hang it. Just in time for Easter. These are little wood. Should be right back. Pieces, okay. Cute to hang on a mantle. You could use these as little ornaments if you do a little Easter tree. Cute as package toppers. Um, your crafting. Like you could make vintage cards and glue these little wood pieces onto the front of the card. There's a lot you can do with these little wood, wood pieces here. They are very cute. This one's one of my favorites, but my very favorite one is this one. Happy Easter. So those are the sets of the wood ornaments here and they come with the twine and so you can string them up individually or into a garland and they are seven dollars i do have six sets available if there's any interest and they come packaged up in a cute little cute little cellophane bag Six sets available. They're seven dollars each. All right, I'm gonna kind of go quickly through the last items here. If there's any interest, we have a vintage crossbody Dooney purse here. This is a vintage one. No lady head vases. I don't think I've ever had a lady head vase, to be honest. You want one, Nanette? Sure. Let me grab one for you. Got one here. I do appreciate it. Don't forget we have our add-on items. So if you want bobby pins, cello picks, vintage ashtrays. Or pencils. Popcorn bag. Four for a dollar. Pencils. Yep, he's eager to do a pencil. Get your pencils. Four for a dollar. So if anybody wants to do a pencil pull, you get four pencils for a buck. And if you get a crappy pencil, you get one repull. Lady head vases. I don't have any. Are those those lady head things? That you, they're, you know, like my vintage planners. The Jennifer only, used to like them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No lady head vases. No. We don't. We had some in California. I guess we got. Oh, we did it. Yeah, we did. I don't think so. I don't know about that. Did we? I don't know if we did. He's saying we do. He's always right. I have to be nice because I want a foot rub when we finish. It's been a long day. Anyway, thank you, Nanette. Very sweet. You saw that box you showed earlier, right? What? The crate? Oh, never mind. Come on. Oh, my God. It's sitting right there. The fish oh, one? Yeah. No. We're not talking about that. Mm hmm Thank you so much, Karen. That's very nice of you. And land shark picker. Thank you, Carrie. Hello. Land shark picker. <laughs> you know, find me New York World's World's Fair stuff. He probably has some postcards for sure. 
I think we have some World's Fair. We have something really cool from the World's Fair. Do you remember what it is? The plastic pyramid thing with the... No. I'll... When he... Sh yes, Karen made it here. I'm so excited to see her. Okay, Land Shark is Craig. Hi, Hi Craig. Craig. We said that at the same time. Hi, Craig. I'm Gino. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm Mr. Sugar Bridges. Kathy said, I have a coin from the World's Fair. I'll show you the item in just a second. I'll have him show something. Which World's Fair are you talking about? New York? Oh, maybe it was San Francisco that we have. It may not be New York. She said New York. Uh, mm -hmm. I have several postcards from... We ship from Northwest Ohio. I have several postcards from the 19, 1915 um, World's Fair in San Francisco that were basically either about the fair or stamp specific. They made a specific group of stamps, postage stamps at that time in recognition of the World Fair. Um, some of them had to do with the Panama Canal and all that. This I is a just genuine a couple of those available. Dooney. Now it does not have the strap. You would need to um, get a new strap for it, but it's a crossbody bag. It's nice because it does have a pocket for your cell phone here. It's fairly large. Um, will your phone fit in here? He's got a big iPhone. Let's check it. Uh, it might be a little too big. He's got like the biggest iPhone and it fits, but it doesn't close all the way. But That's an iPhone 11 yeah. Pro Extra Goofy. Whatever. Stuff. Anyway, this Dooney is $15 and I forgot to put that in there because I'm super distracted tonight. It doesn't help having somebody next to you that sees a squirrel and starts throws uh, it all off. Squirrel? So, yeah. What a squirrel? It looks like there's another little hook here that you would hook your strap to. It's right in here so your strap probably goes like that. Um, yeah, but this is a genuine Dooney crossbody. Fifteen dollars start on the Dooney. So, what World Square stuff were you thinking? It was about? San. I, it's San Francisco. It's not New York. Okay. All right. I do have some watches I here. I personally collect Cleto scale. Items. Okay, Gina. Anything ephemera? Anything to do with Cleto scale? Reach out if you run across it, please. I would appreciate it. Thank you. This is a Hammond wind-up pocket watch. Oh, Mary's in at 15 on the Dooney. Let me show you the inside again. That was a salt and pepper shaker. From the World's Fair. See this, the, um, there's a, a hoop right here. So I think that's the other hoop. The other one's back here. I'm not really sure. This is just how I bought it. I got this at an estate sale. It was a pretty high end estate sale and I spotted the Dooney right away. And so I grabbed it because Dooney is my favorite purse. These hold up forever. I mean, the Dooney's that he got me back in like the mid 2000s, they still look brand new. I thought because you like coach purses. Coach and Dooney, but Dooney, I have to say, holds up better than coach. What about the Louis Vuitton? I don't have a Louis. I tried to buy you one. You didn't want it, Don't remember? have one. So let's start the countdown here. Mary's in at 15. We are going to count this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. So just All as right, a point Mary. of reference, I tried to buy somebody a Louis Vuitton when we were out in San Diego visiting, and she didn't want one. I did want one. I just don't want to spend the money on one. So did we sell the, the salt and pepper shake from the World's Fair? Mm -hmm. Remember it was like an orange. Thank you, Mary. Gino, I don't know. I'm just trying to stay on track here. Where are all those old salt and pepper shakers at? I don't know. Left? I don't know. I don't know. Just, let's just focus on what we have in front of us here and we'll figure that out. Okay. I tried, Grace. <laughs> she said no. I don't know where they're at, hon. She turned me down. I, I have to stay focused because focus. otherwise it's going to be a mess here. I'm, not, I'm focusing you. It's already a hot mess. <laughs> like, 
all over the place. This is a $20 start. Yeah. Louis are, they're nice, but I don't want to spend the money on them. Because I'm not a fancy person. And to be honest, people would probably think it was fake anyway. So I might as well just get a fake one, right? That's how I think. Why would I get a real one when they're going to think it's fake anyway? I might as well just get a fake one. My friend out in California, she got Louis like all the time. And I was just like, I can't see spending $1,500. And that was just sound like a basic tote bag. I don't know. But this is a... Um, pocket watch. So this is a Hammond wind up pocket watch. And Gino, I was going to have you look at this watch because I don't know if it's working. So this could be a project piece for you. These Hammonds, um, there's all different ones online here. This is the one that we have here. And it is on a chain. Um, wind up pocket watch. This is the back side of it. I don't know if we have any watch people, but I have quite a few watches tonight. I went through the um, jewelry that I had, and this is some of it. Can you come over here for a second, please, and check this watch? I don't yes, know sir. if this watch is working because I was trying to wind it up, but it could probably. He's going to take a look at this. What happened with my... Um... My screen, that's weird. I was either frozen or it just went like backwards. Am I blanked out? Am I still here? It's worth the fight. Well, the, the, um. I don't hear any TikTok coming out of this. Well, so. hopefully you can see me. Am I still coming through okay? Because my iPad just shut down, okay. Yeah, the iPad just shut down. It says you're okay right here. Okay. I'm telling you, look at the iPad. No, I don't care about the iPad. Okay. Well, not too good. Okay. Up next, we have Hello Kitty. This is a little retractable thing that goes around your neck. Let's see? Boop, boop, boop. It has the little Hello Kitty emblem here. Nope, that's not right. Huh? No ticky tacky. You put your credit cards, ID, it's got the zipper thing here. Well, hopefully this works because I'm not, oh, it just popped back up. What a crazy night. This is a $5 start, $5 start on the Hello Kitty. Um, I forget what they call these. It's like an ID holder. She put it around your neck does have a little clippy here where you can clip something underneath. I got this at the same place where I got the Eeyore. They had some really cute stuff. And so this Hello Hello Kitty retractable, it's brand new. It's never been used. I think it was her daughter bought it and then never used it. Very cute for $5. It could be for a passport driver's license, or if you're going to Disney or something, you could do that too. So $5 for the Hello Kitty passport holder. Um, we have the lanyard. That's what I was trying to think of. The Sasha B. We have a Sasha B. Mid-century Sasha Brassoff ashtray with a corner imperfection Nanette. I see you on Hello Kitty. You want to check these watches here and see if they're working? All right. Nanette's in at five on the Hello Kitty. Let's go ahead and start the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and... Boy, it's really delayed. There it goes. It just popped up. All right, Nana, you got the Hello Kitty. Thank you. 
Again, if you didn't hear, we are going to be doing in, um, invoicing and packaging on Sunday. So if there's something that we showed that didn't sell, you can certainly email me. My email is right here, sweetadeline at AOL.com. And there are three E's in sweet, so be sure to put that third one in there. Otherwise, I won't put it. That one probably needs a battery. That's what I was thinking. All right. Oops. Sasha Brassoff Ashtray. I have... Oh. When you're set. Did I miss something? What are you bidding on? What was seven dollars? Oh, you do? See, I've been working remotely now for a few years, so I don't really have to do that anymore, but I did have to carry a badge at my last job before I came back home. So that would have came oh, in handy. This one works. Yeah. Um, Nanette, what was seven dollars? I missed. I missed what it was. And you just let me know because I don't know what you're bidding on. Um, so my iPad froze for a minute, so I don't know if it's just coming through weird on that. But this next item is Sasha B. Let me get the start in here. I did have this priced at 37 and I have it priced at 25 And this is mid-century. This, okay, perfect. Thank you. Just let me know, Nana, if you see something you want, shoot me an email. We went to an estate sale up in Michigan and the house was packed. It was like a hoarder, high-end estate sale. Oh, okay. It's just very delayed on my iPad. So this was dug out of this house and they had, I don't know if you can go back and watch the um, video on my channel. It was the, was it Adrian? Yeah. It was the Adrian one. That's where I got this. And you can see, I go through the whole house. You'll see how packed it is. And to be honest with you, I had already shopped, took stuff to the car, came back in videotaped that was on day two wasn't it went to the car came back in again i shopped it three times in one day and we came back another day um and that house you could barely walk through it was that full it was oh my gosh grace you would have been crazy in that house but they had a lot of high-end stuff and i'll show you these beautiful plates because um i want to know if you've seen these plates before i loved them I think I could only get three of them, or did I get four? I, don't know. I went back the next day to see if I could dig more because they, there was boxes everywhere. So who knows? But we were there for hours. It was just crazy. But anyway, this was in the basement, and there was boxes, and they would have metal, heavy stuff with this kind of stuff in the boxes. I can't tell you how much antique glassware was broken. Um, I got a whole stack of those pictures and I'll show you those in a minute too. I'll show you some of the stuff that I got because I keep forgetting that I have those. Um, and I got a whole collection of them. Every one that I found in that house I bought. And she would just look in there and be like, eh, okay, $40. Eh, I don't know. We spent, we spent quite a bit there, but we went like four times. Anyway, yeah, it was, it was crazy, Grace. You had to be so careful digging through these boxes because it was just all thrown together. The basement, you could not even walk into. They had to start pulling stuff out because the one room was just packed floor to ceiling. It was crazy. This is the Sasha B that I rescued from that sale, and it is beautiful. Now, I personally am not into mid-century, but I was drawn to these puffy flowers on here. Um, and that is a bird. No. Why did I think that was a bird? That's a flower. The blue part? Mm-hmm. Uh mm-hmm. -huh, uh -huh. I thought that was a bird. That is a flower. But look at, and then the Sasha B signature there. This is the back side of it. Um, I don't know if I did. That might have been the I one. I don't know that we did a haul video. We did a video of... Uh... That's the video that took us two days to be able to post because yeah. 
it has to upload and then I have to enter, I have to um, edit it and then it has to go back and it's just a we whole big castle. We went in with castle. our um, big pop-up crates we bought at Costco and filled both of them in a bag, I think, and came out, loaded up the car and went back in and did it again. Oh my and gosh. And then went back the next day and did it again. And then I think the second day was when you decided, you know what, I'm going to do some video while I'm here. I got, you know, those paper mache bunny rabbits. I have always wanted one. And they had one there, and it was just sitting on the kitchen counter. The kitchen was a mess. But this bunny was sitting there, and I bought it. But uh, the whole tail of it was chewed up by a mouse. I just put a cotton ball in there. I wanted one of those so bad, and I finally got one. So the imperfection on this is in this corner here. We think it was a manufacturer because it's glazed over. And I don't know if you can see it right there. It's a little rough. Yeah, for those um, of you that can't really notice it at all. Stuff we're still learning, but when I look under a a loop and it appears to be glossy, you mm -hmm. like glossed over, like uh, it's it's been fired that way. Then I assume, dare I say, that it's a, a manufacturing flaw, and they just painted it, fired it, and went on to the next one. It's about six inches square. On it's, this what ashtray. It, it's what it looks like to us. Um, and it We're doesn't have to be an ashtray. It can be whatever you want it to be. It would be beautiful hanging on a wall like this. Or you could hang it like this. Or you could hang it like this. Um, but it is beautiful. Sasha B. And it, it almost looks like it has three points. Maybe that was for the firing. I'm not sure. But it is gorgeous. I can tell you anybody that's in this sale like right now watching would have loved to go with us to that horror sale. Oh, oh it was gosh. crazy. You know, and they didn't buy garbage. Nothing was priced either. They didn't buy garbage. They just packed it well, worth a damn to say anything better. It's like they would go out and they would spend all this money on super collectible stuff and just bring it in the house and set it wherever they could find a spot for it. And then set more stuff on top of that and on top of that and on top of that for years. These people obviously had uh, disposable income to do that, but they didn't take care of it. All right. So up next, we have 2018 Millie Green cookie jar. And I think this might be from like the UK, <clears throat> Britain. It's from Britain. Look at this. And this is a... Ten dollars starts. Had to look at my note here. Ten dollars start on the Millie Green cookie jar. Don't forget, Tammy, if you want those um, patches, let me know. I have them sitting here on the table. So the Millie Green, it's got the Eiffel Tower. It's got all different things all over Europe. There's windmills from Amsterdam, Notre Dame, the, um, I don't know how to say that, the Metro, Moulin Rouge, something, whatever that is called. But yeah, very European. It's the blue and the white, which is really, really like Dutch. It's just very sweet. It's in brand new condition. I don't think it's ever been used. It's got the wood top and it is the Millie, Millie Green from 2018 on this one, $10. I have um, a metal church here. This is $5 start and it does play Amazing Grace, I believe. This one works. cross on the top spins as the music plays. I don't know if you can see it. 
Welcome back. So that one is $5 on the musical church. And it's going to keep on playing back there, I have a feeling. Um, what else do I show? I have some stick pins here. Choice. $3 start choice on the stick pins. Last chance on the call. $20 for a whole box of jewelry. $20. Our loss is your gain. Isn't that what they say? Yep. So there's quite a bit in there. Um, I'll go weigh it. Okay. So $3 start. These are little stick pins. And this first one is a ladybug. This is a shorter stick pin. Let me measure it. This one's just over an inch on this one. It is a smaller, like, stick pin. You can see. The ladybug. Good luck, ladybug. And this next one is about two inches. And this one has a blue flower on it. And the last one here is about two inches as well. And this one's a butterfly. A gold butterfly. So I have those three stick pins. Again, $3 choice on those. Or four pounds of jewelry for $20. Four pounds. I don't think anybody wants the jewelry, Bubba's. Did you go through the watches? Not yet. I'm just trying to see what I have back here. I have the big blow mold eggs. Those are $10 each if there's any interest in those. I do have more colors. I think I just have purple, yellow, and pink up here. But these are, um, I think, 8 inches on the eggs. You got a thing right there. Yeah, I think I measured them. Already. Yeah, they're about 8 inches. On the eggs, this is all plastic trucks and stuff I gotta go through. Was this the extra horse? We're gonna add that yeah. in here. The carous we have the carousel cake topper too for five. Um, I don't know if you all saw that with the horses in the top. It's not complete, but it is pretty gosh darn cute. Postcards, cards, we got through all of that. Christopher Radco ornament. Um, Mary said she'll Can take I the talk jewelry. you into it? <laughs> I mean, you can't go buy bad buying jewelry about a pound for Pete's sake. You want to write her up for this, dear? I uh, sure will. I'm telling you what. You got the mother load of jewelry in here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, here's some nice pins. Yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff teachers in there. Teachers have class. And you know what I'm going to do, Mary? I'm adding these stick pins to your to your lot. Those little stick pins that I just showed, we're putting those in there too. But let me put them in a bag so they don't get lost. I'm adding those in there. All right. There's those. You want to put them in here from there? Got it? Yep. Table. You get to take it over. I can't get through here. All right. <laughs> now kick you out. No way. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to buy anything else, but we just want you to hang out with us. All right. I have some ephemera packs here. I will tell you these are $10 a piece. I do really fun ephemera packs. Each one is different. There's sometimes game pieces, vintage cards. There's a milk cap in there. These are $10 if you like fun ephemera packs. 
Um, I do a bunch of different ones. Sometimes there's old postcard books. So I do have two of those available. And I just dropped one of that. Okay, pieces. I have more, more of these. Um, but on the table tonight, I have two. So if there's any interest in ephemera packs, uh, let me know. I don't know if there's anybody in here that bought ephemera packs for me last time. How did you like them? If you bought them for me, did you like them? Did I do good? Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. Up next, we have this adorable vintage baby rattle. I have quite like, I'm like all over the place with my stuff. I like fun stuff though. I don't, I'm not like too um, stuffy. I don't do a lot of glass or anything like that. I buy just fun stuff, stuff that I like. And this is something that I liked. It's a vintage baby rattle and it is a swan. I tried to find this online. I could not find it. And I was just doing an image Google image search or a, um, a eBay image search just to know I couldn't find it. And it's not marked from what I can tell on the bottom. The swan measures hmm, about three and a half inches long by about three and a half inches tall. Why'd you turn the light off? And she is just full of herself. Look Are at that. Good? Yeah. It's hot down here. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Very hot. Yes, ma'am. Vintage plastic swan baby rattle. Seven dollars if there's any interest. All right. So we have some watches here. And then I'm going to go over the jewelry again. Tammy, let me know about your patches because we have rock and roll patches for a dollar. A dollar a pull. You could get black sabbath you could get acdc um so i if you're interested in any of the rock and roll patches we do have them for a dollar a piece dollar a pull you got your pencils he has his pencils here for for a dollar you could get some vintage pencils they are kind of mixed together so you get for a dollar you get four pulls you get four pulls out of the pencil thing and if you get one crappy, you get one repull. One so if you crappy get, one. Did you so say? if you get a crappy regular yellow pencil, you get one repull. Unless you need a crappy or regular yellow pencil, then, then you can yeah. Have We've got the add-on items here. Kathy wants five the vintage patches. ashtrays. We have only just a few of the blue ones left, but the vintage ashtrays um, in blue, red, gold. These are you get four of them for five dollars and people like these because they craft with them i know i had somebody buying them to do crafts they look really cool um to craft with she was using the red ones to make valentine things they're really cool and we have somebody that uh, also used them for their vintage aluminum tumblers from the 50s the yeah century tumblers okay Those kathy you want five patches do you want me to pull them out or do you want to tell me which ones you want? Black Sabbath? You tell me. And Tammy, you got to let me know which ones you want because I have a, a stack here. Boop. Okay. We're just going to pull them out. Five patches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, I hope you like skulls um, because you got a lot of skulls. <laughs> got this skull. You got Black Sabbath, the Misfits. The feminine skull and the rock on hand. Like that. Those are the five you got, ma'am. 
Thank you very much. You want to um, hold this? Can you spread that back out? I kind of bunched it all together on accident. I uh, tilted it. Uh -huh. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Got it? Gee. See, look at, look at what's doing. It just automatically rewinded itself. That's what it did last time. So weird. All right. Put back here. I don't know what the thing is doing. It just. Well. That's what it did before. It re rewinded itself. Thank you, Kathy. I got you for five of them here. Okay. Tammy, you want all the old bands. The mouth one, that's the Rolling Stones girl. The mouth one is Rolling Stones. I know that one. That's this one right here. I still have all this jewelry for sale, evidently. So you want <clears throat> Rolling Stones. You want Kiss. The mouth one. Led Zeppelin. Whoops, I have it upside down. Led Zeppelin. ACDC. AC Iron Maiden. Jimi Hendrix. Is he considered a band? You let me know on that one. We have Black Sabbath. Where do you have Black Sabbath in there? No, I don't. Have that one. We have Pink Floyd. That's a good one. The King will like King Pink Floyd. This is Def Leppard, Rock of Ages, okay? You want that one? It doesn't say Def Leppard. It says Rock of Ages, which is, I think, their she album. Said yes twice. Okay. And you wanted Jimi Hendrix. Got it. What about... The Beatles. That's she an old man. The Got it. Is Bon Jovi? We're giving you Bon Jovi too. We are. We are. Um, and then this is Queen. We will rock you. That's Queen. Corn isn't that old. Slipknot, probably not. I don't even know who the heck those people Misfits. are. Misfits. These are more like. Uh, rancid these are more um bullet for my valentine who is that oh uh, that's an album i think Hold on. all right tammy i got a nice little stack here for you i'm just going to give you the older ones because the patches are a dollar a piece and there's all different kinds in here. A Welsh heavy metal band, Bridge Inn, formed in 1988. That was which one? Bullet for my Valentine. Okay. Why did I think that was something else? Okay, Tammy, I got a nice little little um, stack here for you. Well, they started a career by covering songs for Metallica and Nirvana. I got you, girly. Got you a big stack here. Yep, one dollar each on the patches, and then uh, we still have quite a few of them here. We were doing mystery pulls. He's also got mystery pencil pulls. We have vintage bobby pins from the 1940s that you can add to your order. That's right. For those of you with hair that aren't poly pin showing, such as myself. You could actually use the, the bobby pins. Personally, I can't do a whole lot with them. Not for lack of wanting, it's just a lack of hair. A lack of hair. Lack of hair. Symbolically um, challenged. We got you there. So we've got the $1 patches if anybody's interested. We also have some more jewelry here. Gino's kind of got it laid out a little bit. I'm gonna I try. pull that one off. I'm gonna keep making a mess over here. Well, you, you tilted it. That was the problem. Is anybody interested in any 
gold women's washes. We have five of them here. Two of them work. A couple of them don't. I think one of them needs a battery. Obviously for five or six dollars or eight dollars, I'm not going to put a battery in it because the battery costs that much. Rude. Well, I could put a battery Rude. in it. That's going to be a fifteen dollar watch instead of a seven dollar watch. Make no difference for me. All right. Let me lay these out. You lay them out. I'm going to lay you up that tray up. They're all going to I'm going to lay you out in about a minute. Difference. Keep it up. You got this all jacked up. Eh. Right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It is a um, $5 choice. Okay. Make it easier. $5 choice. This is a Monet pen. Monet, Monet. We have some beautiful vintage earrings. A set of those. There's two watches on here. These beautiful enameled style bird earrings. We have a prayer box. Jade bracelet. This is a very old brooch. It does have a little bit of damage to it, um, but it's like garnet. It is so beautiful. These are periwinkle little present earrings. Hi, Urban's Antiques and Uniques. These earrings are really, these are clip-ons, but look at the detail on them. They're old. Again, $5 choice on these. Look at these earrings. These are clips. I have an owl necklace this is a ring so if you're seeing anything on this this is a signed cat um, pin it does have the signature on the back of it we have a military style pin glass heart is that millie fiori or whatever they call it i don't even know what they call it I have a few different rings. Um, could you do me a favor and go over to my pack table in the, where I have all my pens? There's a ring sizer there. Could you grab it, please? Um, okay, hold on. I have one that kind of looks like a spoon. And then I have this purple stone. All right, Jerry's in. Look at these earrings. They're like a clip. This is like inlaid shell pendant. That's what it looks like. A beautiful domino on a cord. This is a handmade one. We have a cat brooch. Bracelet with a prayer box on it. Some beautiful earrings. Look at these earrings. All right, Jerry's in, and she wants the, the glass heart. All right, Jerry, I got you for that. M Millie Fiore. I don't know if I always um, forget that. Oh, this necklace is stuck in my baby hair. These earrings are really interesting to me. They are clips, but look at the detail on these. The ring sizer, Gino. Not sure what kind of stone that is on those. Yeah, there's some earrings here. They almost know. look like little stars. All right, so I will. I have that heart set aside for you. The spoon ring. I never know how to read this. It's probably around a size seven on the spoon ring. Is that how you read it? Could you figure out how to read that? This is a beautiful Monet brooch. I am not sure. Is this some I sort of a, like a size seven? Uh, is this some sort of a pin with a bird on it? But look at the back of it. I don't it's know. It's small for my little finger. What is that? 
Is that a button? What? This. I think that's a button. I don't even think that's a pin. I don't know if it's going to zoom in on it. Let's see. I thought it was a pin, but maybe it goes through a button or something. I have no idea on yeah. that. I don't know on that. This is the purple ring. What was the, that ring? I'm guessing seven-ish. This would go in a buttonhole. This looks like a size eight on the purple one, right around there. It's just a little buttonhole doodad. This is a tie, a tie tack. A sleeve button, okay. Here's a wildcat pin. So there's some interesting stuff on what here. What they called them when I was a kid? Things you used to put in your sleeve. Cufflinks. Cufflinks. There you go. Earrings. That wants the purple something or another. I'll nice. take purple. Can I see the red brooch closer? Red bro brooch. Yeah, Ariana. I don't know what the red one is. Um. Oh. That's that. It's this one. I know which one she's talking about. This one's got damage to it, but it looks really old to me. And it looks like it's um, like a garnet, right? And then that's but looking for a purple ring. This is the back of it. I don't know. I felt like I had to save this just because the coloring was so pretty. And I was thinking somebody could maybe fix it or add something to it or repurpose it. But the color of those stones were just too, too pretty. Okay, so that is the brooch. And then that was interested in this purple ring. Let me take my ring off and I can show you a little bit better. This is the ring. Oh, this red thing. This and if you strong. like purple, Nanette, I have more purple rings. So if you want to see them, let me know. I have them right here um, and I can show those to you. This is the, the purple ring here. This is missing some stones. I know. It's, I told her it, it is damaged, but it is beautiful. Hmm. I wish it would zoom in. Okay. So that's like the purple car. ring. Let me put this on this finger so I don't accidentally mix my ring up. I have... Um, this jewelry here too. Yeah, it definitely looks like garnet, doesn't it? It does look like garnet to me. Um, so if you want the purple ring, just let me know. I will set that aside for you. And I have other purple rings here. Purple rings, purple rings. I don't think that's how it goes, dear. Purple I was a child of the 60s, and even I know better than that. Look, all the rings I have over here are purple. Isn't that funny? All right, I'm going to show you the rings I got. This one's very unusual. Look at that stone. What are you thinking, Ariana? Do you have any interest in this? What appears to be garnet brooch? It does have damage to it, but I'll tell you what, yeah. it, it is still beautiful. It's missing stones. That's the bottom line. Yep. You this know. is the other purple one here. Well, there's there's a few more purples. This is a purple bar. I'm going to add that to the tray. So if you're interested, go ahead and put $5 in the chat, and we will start. How much is the bread thing? Then? It's $5. It goes on the tray here. Oh. Yep. Um, Nana, I have this purple ring. Okay. She's going to pass on that. G, can you size this one for me, please? So the, the garnet brooch is back on the tray. I'm going to put this, I'm going to bag this one up for you. You should see some of the brooches I have over here. They're really beautiful. I'm going to say this is the eight. Okay. I got to bag this for Jerry, seven too. Seven and a half. I'm sorry. Seven and a half. 
if I'm reading this thing correctly, it's seven and a half. Jerry, I got your glass heart. The good Lord only knows if I'm reading it right. I almost forgot to put that in the bag. I also have a Tinkerbell fairy bracelet and a Pirates of the Caribbean bracelet. Seven and a half, from what I can tell. Um, oh, Nanette, I got goes the raccoon alarm again. I got your purple ring. Okay, so the bar, the purple bar ring is how, what size? Seven and a half? Seven and a half. Uh, seven and a half on that one. Hopefully he's reading that right. Um, so this one is a seven and a half. Okay. The next one I have, this one's a little bit smaller. But look at that. very pretty and it is gold I don't know if it's real gold it could be I guess I don't know it's a beautiful ring there I'm gonna add that to the tray we have this silver one here it's got the stone in the middle We're gonna add that to the tray. Here's the purple ones, okay, Nanette? And these are, this is a bigger style ring here. And this one, hi Gabby. You'll take both ephemera packs? Sure. I got you, girly. Hopefully you liked your last, I think you bought an ephemera pack for me last time. Hopefully you liked it. This looks to be like a size 10, I believe, on this one. Very unusual. It's a chunkier ring. The silver one is pretty cute. We're gonna add that one to the tray. And this one's the most unique, I think, out of all of them. And the stones go all the way around on this one. So if you like purple and gold, this is a, a good one. Oh, good, Gabby. I'm glad that you like them. It's very rounded. And this one, I think, is around a size 8 on this one. Hello, oh, Gabby. That so thing just popped in. We added all of those to our tray here. So if there's any interest in anything, Gino can show that to you. I'm going to go do those ephemera packs real quick. I can. For Gabby. Also, hon, can you reach this down? We forgot to show that. Oh, Lord. Gabby, I got you for the ephemera. Orient's latest creation. We went to an estate sale where a lady was a square dancer. Yeah, we got bloomers and whatever the heck these things are. Yeah, this is a um, tool petticoat. And I basically took an antique hanger. This is an old one. It says home laundry, cleaning and dyeing, San, Lu San Luis Obispo, phone 70. So it's an old hanger. I just glued it over to hanger. And then... I added some vintage earrings on either side here. And I did a bow in the middle and it just looks so pretty hanging up on like your armoire or your door to your closet. Um, so this is available. I did put some vintage pearls just around up here um, just to add a little touch, but you can take those off if you don't like the pearls up there. But it is so beautiful. How much do you want for the whole thing, pearls and all? I think. Already selling it. Or not. Yeah, this one is for sale. Mm -hmm. And how much is it? I don't know if there's any interest. Um, hold on one second. I got somebody interested in something. Just let me know. Um, probably what forty dollars on this or? Yeah. Well, it's we have. Better part yeah. Of so probably it. forty on the petticoat if there's any interest in it. But it is gorgeous. The pink. For those of you on the West Coast, you know anything like. This old from San Luis Obispo is pretty cool. 
All right. So, Jerry, area, so. I think this is the one you were um, looking at here, this bar ring, right? It's silver. And it's got the purple bar. I should have put some hand lotion on. Look how dry my hands look. I don't, Kathy. I only bought two and I glued them both to hangers. <laughs> um, just because I knew that's how I wanted to display them. And I have a white one. Can you grab the white one? I'll show them that one. But I think I might be keeping the white one, but I'll show it, it Show it to you. All right, Jerry, I got you for the purple one. It's hanging right over here. Well, where the other one was. You're slaying so much here. I'll try. I'm trying. All right, Jerry, I got you for the purple. The purple one. Can you size the chunky silver ring? I sure can. Oh yeah. So this is the um the cream colored petticoat. This lady had every color in the rainbow, and we just bought a couple of them. But look at I hung my um oops, what did I knock over? Hard to say. Okay. I'm just trying to get a close up of these vintage earrings and brooch that I hung on here. Look at the size of this brooch. And these are the earrings that kind of matched it. And they're, I just clipped them on there. They're clip, clip on earrings, but I really liked this cream colored one. I think I'm gonna hang it in our bedroom upstairs um, on our armoire. So I might keep that one for a little bit, but the pink one is available. So let me this size- is Chicago and De Plain, Illinois. Yeah, the hangers, I love using those old- Savoda and some clothing. Okay. Yep. All right, so on the silver one, I think this one's around a size seven. I'm guessing it's either a seven or an eight. I'm trying to figure it out on the, it might be an eight. Hun, is this a seven or an eight? I, I can't tell. Read it at the top. Oh, you read it at the top? I'm reading it at the bottom. I don't know. It, that's an eight right there. Okay, it's somewhere between a seven and an eight. I'm not sure how to. I think it's a size eight. I am not sure how to, does anybody know how to use this thing? Put that ring in here. Okay. For the experts out there that already know how to use this, what, which do we read it? The top or the bottom? That's an eight at the bottom. You said the bottom. Okay. So it's a size eight. Okay. Thank you. Who is it? Kathy, thank you. It didn't come with any instructions when we bought it, so. And that's the silver one. Evidently, there's two different scales around here. This one's is a um, numbers. like a spoon. Nanette wants something else. Okay, she wants the silver one. I got you. Both the family packs, if they're different, did you get her for that? What is Gabby, it? For Gabby. I said, hi guys, popping in quickly. Yeah, my phone died. that's what I did when you first came back. Mm -hmm. So you got it? Yep. Okay. Oh, I've never been there, but look at this ring here. Isn't that crazy? I don't know how old it is. Because look at, it's got some age to it, but look at, it's like adjustable right there. It does look old to me for sure. What size is it? Now that we know how to use this thing. Isn't that crazy? Let's see. It's what we got? probably an eight, I'm going to guess. No. But don't pull it down on there. What's it say? Six and a half? I don't know. Okay. That's well, a little one. Is it adjustable? But it's adjustable. Okay. Yeah, it's adjustable. So it's this part adjustable moves, ring. so it's an adjustable there you ring. Go. That's why I can fit it on my big old finger. So there's that one. We have a beautiful jade bracelet. I don't know if it's real jade. No idea. It's gorgeous though. 
What else do I have over here? I do have two fun no, little. It doesn't glow. Bracelets. Are you chalked up? No glow. And this is a Disney style one here. So you have a Tinker Bell. There's a fiery. There's another a Tinker Bell one. There's a Tinker Bell. And then another fairy right here. So it's got a bunch of little fairy fairies on it. Some Tinker Bells and some regular. Um, okay, all in the attic. Treasures, Mary Ann, you want the adjustable ring. That's this one right here. I got you. And if we don't have your uh, contact information, please send it to the email address on the screen. Sweet Adeline at AOL.com. Oh, Sweet okay. has three E's in it. So we have a charm bracelet with, let's see, a bird, a pirate. <laughs> is that a pickle? No, it's a sword. That is Pirates of the Caribbean, I believe. Another bird. Another turtle. Another pirate. You gotta show it to him, hon. Oh, I'm trying to come up with some ideas. What's on it? All right, we got you. Thank you very much. That is not a pickle. That's a sword. It could have been a pickle in another life, but in this life, it's definitely a sword. So that's, what's that, all part of this $5 thing? Yep, yeah, you just put it right on the tray there. Okay. This is um, still brand new with the tag. It says Made in India. It is a pale pink. I think this is a necklace. Is that a choker? Well, it's too big to be a choker. Well, that was somebody with a really huge neck. Yeah, but it, I think it is some sort of a, a necklace. It still has the card with it. So it still has the card. It is beautiful pale pink beaded I gotta be off my necklace like one percent left um why don't you plug it in unplug one of these this is pretty interesting this is very vintage it is i think she's supposed to have maybe a necklace but she is holding a pair of earrings this is plastic i don't know if it's bakelite I think it's just a little plastic here. So we have this groovy lady. I love this piece. Careful. And walk around and do it, please. Or just plug it in over there. This is a, a long chain here. A long chain. And then it has these hoops on the bottom rainbow and they're metal so it's a long chain with these rainbow hoops so that's going on the tray here we're just going to keep adding stuff this is a Beautiful bracelet. That's the clasp. Bracelet. This is a beautiful brooch. with a locket on the bottom. So this is a locket here. I thought it was a butterfly at first, but it's not. This is another spoon ring. It is a smaller one. It does have a little bit of a bend in it, but it's soft enough where you could bend it back. And I think this one might be silver. I can't tell if it's marked in there or not, but that is a little spoon ring that's going on the tray. This adorable spoon necklace, it's 
It's got the little heart. Which one are you talking about? And this is a pendant, like a little spoon. Really cute. Which one was it? Retro. That one. A rose brooch, gold rose. Again, all of these are $5, so if you see something you're interested in, just stop me. Yeah, this is a Rogers Brothers. It's 1847 Rogers Brothers. Oh, these beautiful shell earrings. It's got the maker's marks in it as well. Cute for Florida, if you're going to Florida, or you live in Florida. It's part of a handle for something. Um, well, I think... Um, I, I don't know. I think this might be real, real silverware. Maybe I don't know. Rogers Brothers it says silverware. Rogers Brothers, eighteen forty-seven inside of it. And it's got yeah. a couple of maker's marks stamped into it. This is some sort of a crystal. Ooh, I wonder if that glows. It glows purple. <laughs> but I don't know what type of crystal, but. Moonstone. Moonstone. Is this Moonstone? I don't think it is. What is Moonstone? Those earrings are old. Um, this is one of my favorite things that I have. And it's a hummingbird brooch. There you go. Yes, for Hilly Gary also. Mm-hmm. I don't know why those sand dollars always remind me, oh, cool, of um, Florida. Because we don't really have sand dollars in Ohio. No. This is some sort of a military pin. It says me, John's. I don't know. It is old, though. Look at the back of it. Yeah, that was a little hummingbird. It's cute, right? And then this is a set. I don't know if it goes together, but I'm going to sell it together. It's the silver necklace here. And I have the these silver earrings. Dangle earrings. That I was going to put with it. So that set. You want the hummingbird? Okay. I got you. It is. Mm. I'm probably staring right at this right here. Hummingbird. You got it. And he has. We have this art art piece here. This and is that, made by so an artist. Okay. I got you. This is a beautiful handmade brooch. This is made on an old domino. Um, so cute for St. Patrick's Day as well. All right. So Kathy, I got you for the hummingbird. And Nanette, I see you on the silver side. All right. We have some uh, watches. I'm going to just jump in here. Okay. We have five watches. Um, this is a hand up, Hammond wind up pocket watch. A start of twenty dollars. Um, right now, I can't get it to work. I don't know if it's battery operated or not. It's beautiful. It is on this lovely chain. Did you pull the silver set out of here? No, I didn't do anything. I'm going crazy. This is the Hammond wind up pocket watch. I'm probably staring right at it. What silver set are you talking about? The set that Nanette wants. Matching earrings. I found them. I'm staring right at it. <laughs> I'm like, I know I put it here. Okay. I got this set right here. This is a Bergana King flower watch. Um, starting bid of $20. It appears to be... I was able to get it going. I wound it up that it's working. Okay. 
they have all different kinds online. Some of them are very valuable. Thank you. Oh, I see, because you would pick it up and look at it like that. I got you. Yeah. So this one's working. It wound up. I don't know if you can see the second hand moving in there. Um, it does have the flowers on the back. Beautiful gold chain. By gold, I mean golden color. I don't know what it's made of. And this is so twenty dollars. Ber Bergana, Bergana King Flower Watch. This one works. I bet you would hang it in front of you and then pick it up and locate it like this. I set these earlier while we were talking. That one works. Um, we have a Wenger Sack Design Watch. And this one, I honestly feel like it's uh, probably a battery operated one. It's a $12 start. It's got the, like a Swiss Army Knife cross on it. Um, I can't get it to wind up and start, but the back looks to me like something you would take off and put a battery in. I don't know. And we have a Hamilton, a vintage ladies Hamilton watch. I don't believe this one's working. The fifteen dollar start. The very Lovely petite watch. Um, again, this I don't know if this takes a battery or not. I honestly don't know. But it is a 15-hour start. So that's the four. We have a fifth watch here with no ID on it. Other than it's a hint, it's a Waltham. I don't know if there's any watch people here, but we have a lot of watches. Waltham Jewels. Mm -hmm. This is a very petite watch. I mean, extremely. Can Anyhow, I see the eyepiece? We have this little teeny tiny person here. That is about big enough to fit around two of my fingers, so. This is a bull of a watch. And I don't have any information on it other than that's what it is. That's bull of a. I have a 14 karat gold set here. You get the ring and the necklace and the earrings. This is still live. <laughs> she said, is this still live? <laughs> it is. Hi, Susie. As far as we know, we're still alive. <laughs> we're just kind of finishing up now. Yeah. Going through everything. I'm going to put the watches in here. Clay, Ariana wants claim set. I don't know which set you want. Is it the gold, um, 14 karat gold one? Which, yeah, which set were you looking at? Is it this? I had not I haven't even priced that one yet. I'm just pulling out some of the... Um, well, how much do you want for it? I don't know. You can't show it to everybody and not put a price on it. I know. I was just pulling stuff out of this bin here. Um, on the 14 karat gold set, 10 bucks. I don't know. Would that work for you? It needs a little spot of glue in that thing. It's probably from like Kmart or something back in the day. I'm guessing. But it is marked 14 karat. Um, it comes with the ring, the necklace, and the earrings. Um, so it's 14 karat gold, HGE. I don't know what size the ring is. Okay. You got it, girly. You got it, girly. And then... Um, you just got a box from her today. I know. I haven't opened up my box yet. I'm excited. I know one of them was an Easter card, so... Be putting that in my Easter display. Make sure you guys follow, follow, follow the Wither and Cottage. Ariana, yes, she's got sales every week, and she has some amazing yeah. stuff. Every is it Tuesday? I think. I don't know. Put what your is, stuff in there to see if it'll show up, Ariana. Well, she's not blue, so it won't, and I can't figure out how to make people blue. It's not working. 
I'm having some technical difficulties today. Don't touch it. Don't touch I'm gonna it. I'm going to touch it. No. I want to touch it. Stop. You touch it. Look, see, it doesn't give us that option. And I don't want to cause an issue like by accidentally hitting ban her or something. All right. So we did all the watches. This, I think, is 14, 18 karat gold. Can you look and see? I don't uh, have it's a marked look. inside. Somebody keeps taking my tools. Tuesday, 7.30. Not next week, though. We'll have a new resident at our house next week. His mom is moving in with us while she recovers from her car accident. Yeah, she's, she had a massive head-on collision a week before Christmas last, this past year. And she'll we be, have been trying. She'll be moving and, in my uh, office. So I got to move my office to the basement. We have been trying and praying and working with her through four different establishments getting her back on her feet <laughs> um 18k hge and it just to recap mark. we do have vintage bobby pins here from the 1940 1940s if there's any interest we can add those on um vintage cello picks what is this you said 18 karat it says 18k hge or something like that's, that that's what that set that she just bought says yeah. 18 karat gold this I'm going to have to check on. I don't know. That probably has something to do with plating, like gold plating. Oh, something. really? Yeah. I have some beautiful brooches here. I um, thought I had another one. But I don't know if you guys are into brooches. But She wants to do a pencil pull. Gabby, the um, bobby pins are just $3 you a want box. A pencil pull? New old stock. From the 1940s. Yep, we got a bunch of them. Yep, we got a few boxes of them. So, two, 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 three dollars if you want to add one on. We've got popcorn bags, and we've got these amazing. Can you hand me those Gladoline, the Gladoline box? Of course, we have the vintage ashtrays. These are all you, dear. And then these are from. Oh, Gino, you ripped the box. I didn't huh? rip anything. I just picked it up. Here. And it ripped. No, I didn't. Because you're not careful. No, you ripped it. These are from the early 1900s Germany. This is collar wax. The the gentleman would have put on their collars to prevent chafing. These are three dollars a box too. Gabby, you want several. two of the bobby pin things? Two, that what she's saying? Two bobby pins. I will add All those. Right. We I are got pulling you. these out of the original box. We bought them at a little antique store. Yeah. Okay, you want to get your pencils because you have to do a pencil pull for our There they are. They have little sample bobby pins on the outside, and they're full. So these are little add-ons we can add on to your order. If you want um, anything, just let us know. We have popcorn bags, bobby pins, collar wax, cello picks, ashtrays, and I even have snowman cups. <laughs> I still have some of those. Well, thank you, Gabby. I have a... Uh, From the 40s. I have a cousin who lives in Newberry Park. I don't think that's too far from the area you live in. I've flown into Burbank before. It's a little sketchy, but... Last time I was in there, it looked like something right out of the 1950s, but maybe they've updated since then. <laughs> Snowman cups. Snowman, snowman cups. cups. And these things go for a lot of money. And you know what? I think, Jerry, are you still in here? Because I found the bag of them. Now, I was selling these for... A pencil pull. Before we get too far ahead, it's four for a dollar. And you're allowed to reject one dud if you don't like it. So how many uh, would you like, Ariana? Thank you, Nanette. She said, I hope your mom gets well soon. Okay. Um, I've been there before to see my cousin yeah, she, a couple of times. So she wants I four for an hour. She didn't say how many. I thought she did. No. She said I would like a pencil pull. They're four for a buck. You just want to do a dollar? I just said that. Four for a dollar. And there get, are. You get to reject one dud if you don't like one. There are vintage pulls. pencils in here. She wants four of them. Okay. Make it good, Gino. No well, no pressure. Well, quit messing around with my, my mojo and stuff here. I don't know how good he's going to do. You may get all regular pencils. 
I don't know. So far, I don't have the yellow ones. You did pretty good. You didn't get any yellow pencils. You got some cool ones here. The first one you got is an Indian, and it is a blue vintage Indian pencil. Okay. Okay. And then you got the Green Bay Packers. Woohoo! Who's not a Packers fan? I'm then you Packers got fan. a green Indian pencil. And it's pointless not to advertise your business with Elin uniforms. And it is a double-ended pencil, which I didn't even know was in there, but a vintage little advertising oh, pencil look at that. with two erasers. You can't sharpen it if you tried. You can't. And that's your pencil pull. <laughs> so he did pretty good on that Thank one. you, Marianne. But you do get to put one back if you want. So if there's any of these you don't want and you want him to repull, you do have that option. So. You have five erasers for the price of four. Mm -hmm. What a deal. If you want to put one of these back, you can dirt, certainly you can certainly do that, and he can repull one for you. Just let me know. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, my mom was involved in a really bad head-on collision mm -hmm. on 19th of December, and my family and I, including Miss Lorianne here, have been following her in and out of <laughs> ICU okay. and surgeries and, and rehabs and back to surgery and back to rehab. And She's almost 90. And next, uh, probably one more surgery next week for a potential skin graft that should finish everything. Um, she's doing real well, but prior to this accident, she lived independently in the house her my dad built in 1961. And uh, it's hard to say at this point um, if she'll be able to continue to do that or not. We're going to try our best to do that because that. that's her wish. But. We're trying. It's a, it's a struggle, but you know, it's your mom. What are you going to do? You got to try it. was at Springfield extravaganza last year. And I think these are from the 1940s. Come to find out these are worth money. And I've been selling them for five to five cups for $2 and they go for like $10 a piece. <laughs> and when I looked them up, people are selling them. It's all over, but these little cups are worth money. So I am going to sell them for a dollar a piece, which is still. <laughs> Look at his oh, face. <laughs> so He's... instead, well, we were selling them five cups for $2. We well, we sell five cups for $2. That's why I said a dollar a piece. That's not five cups for two dollars. That's five cups for five dollars. Gabby wants five cups. He's gonna yell at me regardless. Doesn't matter. Okay, I have a bag of five of them here, Gabby. You got it. Okay. You want a pencil pull two, hun? How many do you want? Oh. Uh, it's $1, $2, $20. You, you get four know. pencils for a dollar. Four pencils for a dollar. I will pull dollar. until you're happy. Gabby, yeah, you've done the pencil pull with us before. I'm almost sure you have. $2? Holy cow. Okay. He's going to get eight pencils out of here. Yeah, you have. Uh, there's one sticking up. Ooh, that's Don't a good one. Look at it. Oh, another good one. Come on. Keep going. Oh, good lord. I'm going as fast as I can pull here. Oh, we got four hot ones. No duds so far. She said, get a green eraser one. Get a green eraser one. Oh, we got a dud. There's six, seven. Is that Jason? Hi, Jason. Eight. You got eight? Yep. 
You sure can. I can uh, get get those for you. All right, Gabby, you got one dud here. Well, hi, Jason. This How one's a little man? rusty. This one's a little rusty, but it is. Looking forward to seeing look you. Look at September, the witches and the bats. You got a vintage Halloween pencil here. It's got some age to it. Look at that. So vintage Halloween. We have a cow cow pencil. This one is. I think it's Easter. I think they're Easter eggs. And then we have a Life Star, which is a medical helicopter. Like Life. Is that from Toledo? It is. LaGrange. LaGrange. Street. I don't know if they're still, still going. Oh, thanks, this is Gabby. The First State Savings, Savings Bank of Gladwin, Michigan. This one's an old one. My ego needs all the help it can get. I appreciate it. <laughs> National Ocean Sciences Bowl. No idea. And World Year of Physics, 2005. Woohoo! And then you got a yellow one. So you get two repulls. Okay, you got. Or you can just take what, what's there if you like. So I know you probably want to put this this one back. Don't encourage her. She'll make her mind up. She's she's an adult. So you let me know if you want to repull. You get two repulls. One for every four. Three pulls. Yeah, I didn't think so. My um, my um stepdad, I think. Remember, Marion? Marian, yeah, I think. Life flight. Mm hmm. Three pull the yellow and the 2005. Yellow, that one's That's yellow. This one. This That's is, orange. She doesn't want that one. She does want that All right. one. You, you don't want this one, right? The plain one. Or are you talking about the Halloween one? Oh, she wants the Halloween one. Well, that's the yellow one. It's just got a little bit of rust on it. Let us know, Gabby, which ones you want us to throw back in. These two. Okay. Go for a green eraser. She wants a green eraser. Jason, I haven't forgot about your cups. I'll get those for you in just a second. Yeah. You're talking to somebody that wore a you're not supposed a, to look. A toilet seat cover on his head for last extravaganza, so. He did not get I didn't realize a it green was eraser. a toilet seat cover. Actually, I knew that. I was just playing with everybody. This is, um, <gasps> I did not even know this one was in here. What? I don't want to even show her that one. NIOSH, National Institute for Occ Occupational Safety and Health. Girl, you got 1944 to 2004, 60 years of vigilance. And I was like, what is that? It's a Smokey the Bear one, 60th anniversary pencil. I'm jealous now. So you got some cool pencils here. I'm not. We got five more pencils out of that 800 pencil can over there. Well, she got eight pencils. What are you talking about? I know. We need to sell more of them. You hook up Jason with his uh, cups here, dear. I am going as fast as I can. Just a little too slow. Well, you can sit there and not do anything. Thank you. I appreciate that. <gasps> she collects Smokey the Bear. Oh my gosh! You should see the Smokey oh, the Bear patch I have over go there. He's gonna get distracted. So yeah, you got a Smokey the Bear pencil. You probably I'm seen it before, Gabby. I don't know. Super jealous. And this carnival stick. It's going to be the death of me. It keeps falling. All right. Snowman cups. Snowman cups. Snowman cups. I got to tell you, I think we found this patch up in uh, Grass Valley when we lived out in California. And, um, Gabby, let me measure it for you, just so you know I'm like what we're dealing sweaty. with here. I'm sweaty. This patch is 10 inches tall. I think it's an iron. You're welcome. An iron patch. There you go. There you go. When will you ever see another one?
That's it. And I'm selling it for what I paid for it. I paid up for it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, probably losing a little money because I probably paid the tax on it too. But anyway. It's a $30 patch. That's what she paid for it. We bought it. Remember, I intended it. to put it on the back of my jacket. Yeah. And it never happened. We bought it up in Grass Valley. I'm almost positive. Jason with two pencil pulls. And we have rock and roll patches here. A dollar, a pull for another fun little pull thing. We have some rock and roll patches. They're you, not Gabby, old, you probably but... won't find another one of these there. All right. It is huge. Yeah, sure. it's it's ginormous. Okay, Gina. And it's a Smokey the Bear patch. Focus. We have another here, pencil pull request. You're going to get it. This is what I have to deal with. There was something I was going to grab to show you, and I forgot what it was. But let's just do the pencil pull. It happens when you get a little older. Okay. You have to draw eight pencils. All right. He wants to. And if you don't like them, oh, that's not. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good oh, one. Shit. Um, You get two repulls. Oh, that one's been sharpened already, but it's pretty cool. Come on. Oh, that's a winner. Come on, you could do better than that. Oh, we got a dud. Come on. I'm trying, I'm trying. Come on. Oh, another dud. Gino. The hell, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at it. Come on. Move move around in there, I for God's sake. I'm moving around. Oh, we got another sharpened That's one. a duplicate one. Draw a different one. Come on, you can do better one. than that. I'm drawing one for them. Here. We're going to get rid of that one. Did you draw? Yes, I did. You did not do very good. Shocking. He didn't do very good on that one. Shocking, I must say. I can't believe that somebody All didn't right. do a good job. You got... That's my wife. She supports me in everything I don't do. Excellent work. Hey, you can always use the pencils, right? Okay, you ready for this? Minnesota Vikings. You got a Minnesota Vikings pencil. Hope he likes Minnesota Some of those Vikings. NFL pencils can go for good money. Carter Lumber. Ooh, Carter so that's Lumber. a local lumber company. I don't think they're there anymore. So a vintage lumber pencil. Vintage wood. Kyle Brothers Printing. This one is Brotherhood Mutual Insurance Company. And then we have Cleveland Crown Classic, sponsored by the Imes Company. Imes, isn't that pet food? I think so. That's an older pencil. This one is uh, like a Jewish pencil. We've got the... Like a Jewish pencil? Yeah. See it? Yom Kippur. The Torah. So it has Arabic on it, that's what you're saying. Hanukkah. Oh, it's Jewish. Yom Kippur. I don't know. Okay, it has Arabic on it. Passover. Rosh. Yes, that would, those would be uh, Lag holidays of Jewish people. I'm I don't know. And then we have, oh, why did I think that, that, that was, I don't know. The Big Dipper bonded pencil. So a big, With no eraser on it. It's like big. Uh, it's a big pencil. Like a carpenter's Hebrew. pencil almost. That's what I was trying to think of. A Hebrew pencil. Thank you, Kathy. She knew what she was saying. All right. So those are your pulls. You get two free pulls if you want them. It gets better as it ages. That's true. All right. So those are your. If I make any comments at this point, I'll get whacked. So I'm not saying anything. <laughs> those are your pencils if you want. Um, repulls, you get two repulls. Do we have do we have your information, Jason? I'm not sure. I think we do. Probably. Jason, your while. wife collects mermaids, huh? Let's repull the sharpened one. That is this one. Wow. Got it. All right, you know, make it good. How about a World Year of Physics 2005? Come on, make I... it good. Well, Don't put those back in there. What are we Somebody, gonna do we're going to send them over here. Somebody already pulled those. That's cheating. 
Make it a good one. Oh, not even gonna. No pressure. Ooh, Office Max. <laughs> <laughs> you got a rose gold Office Max. One. But it's not yellow. Okay. That's not, it's not bad. I mean, you know. There are, there is one in here that's marked like $10 off shipping. Look at, there's a rainbow bright one in here. Oh, now show them everything that they didn't get. Go a ahead. Garfield. There's some good pencils in here. He just. All right, Jason. Oh no, he said yay office max. <laughs> Way gotta, to go. Jason, we gotta get you out a little more. So I wanna show you my necklace that I have on. Let me take it off. Chino, can you bag those up? I'm gonna bag you up in a minute. Because I know she likes mermaids. And this I bought at a um I showed it at the beginning of the sale. It's made from an antique um seafood spoon. An antique mermaid. They found one. It's a seafood spoon, okay? Made into a necklace. And he um cut he hand cuts the spoons and then he adds the beautiful back on for the necklace. Yeah, thanks, um, I hear you. No pressure. But these were beautiful spoons and he showed me, he said I have a whole set of them. They were from the 1800s and it was the spoon and then the um the spoon part was an actual seashell and he had acquired these spoons and he makes jewelry from it but look at the mermaid i know you can appreciate it so this is like one of my favorite necklaces helen said office max is my favorite pencil <laughs> We got to get you guys out more. <laughs> All of you, you got to go out. She's like, Office Depot's not good. I like Office Max. Staples. We, we got to no. get you out of the house a little more. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, thank you, Marianne. We're glad to have people in here because I can tell you my last couple of sales, we had like five people. <laughs> yeah. I recently moved from days to nights. And so. I got that um, actually in Benicia, California. Why am I holding up the pencils? I, I don't have know. no idea. I got this in Benicia, California about two years before oh, we... Oh, was that one of the... I uh, went with Sherry, one of my... Fairs. Uh-huh. They have a little yeah. antique fair in downtown it's not Benicia. Little. It's they, like a craft antique. If you're familiar with Benicia... Yeah, and he they, was selling there. Start, the Main Street starts way uphill and runs all the way down it's to been a the, few uh, years, though. Uh, the Carcana Straits which is basically a riverway <gasps> that goes all the way up to uh, You're getting Sacramento. You know that. Do you see? I want one more pencil pull, Gino. Do good. Hello. I asked you for did? another pencil pull. She did. Gabby wants another pencil pull. Fine, fine. You don't have to yell at me. I'm old for Pete's sake. I'm liable to go cry after this and, and be very upset. He's tough, too. Okay. I thought you said I was just dumb. You want me to hold it? No, it's crappy pencil when you hold it. Oh, there's a good one. I'm not looking. Here. I got, d d leave it alone, leave it alone. I want to get good pencils. When you hold it, we get bad pencils. Sure about that? This one's sharpened. Pick uh -oh. another one. We got a a pencil with stars on it. Then you got a like a little vintage bunny ducky Easter pencil. Bunny ducky Easter. Yeah, there's bunnies and ducks on it. It it looks kind of old. I don't know. It does look Easterish. It is an Easter pencil. I and mean, then you don't see those every day. Botech, where tomorrow's careers begin. You say Botox? Botech. Oh, Botech. Okay. But this one's pretty good. It's not just a job. It's an adventure. Navy. So you got a Navy pencil. Those are your four pencils, ma'am. What do you think? You good with those four or you want to repull on anything? Bum, bum, bum. Helen says, I like how it writes and how it sharpens. The Navy repull. 
Oh my, okay. Well, alrighty then. You gonna pull something good this time? Oh, why am I pulling? You're pull supposed it. to pull. That's okay. Oh, I don't want to get yelled at for what I pulled. Just make it a good one. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, I thought that was something else at first. Did you too? No, I, my mind doesn't go there. What'd you think that was? Camp wise. Pencil tender hit me again. I'll take another. <laughs> you want another four pencils? Oh my goodness. So those are your four, Gabby. They're very fun. You got a glittery one there. You got rid of the Navy. Ariana, is You're not another, a Navy family. Is that another four pencils for you, dear? I will pull four more pencils. Shoot. He will do it. Uh, I'm waiting for something that says, yes, I want four more pencils, or no, I'm just messing with She you. said hit me again. Well, I know she said hit her again, but. Make it a good one. I don't know what that means. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a dud. You're not supposed to look. Put it down know, here. That. That's weird. I don't know about that. <laughs> There's a weird one. That one is really fun. Oh, that's a dud. Cheeto. It's a dud. Quit cheating. I'm not. I'm looking at them once I pull them. Oh, another dud. You're not doing a good job. I Do I ever do a good job? There. Well. I'm trying to mix them up. You want a broken one? Okay. Pull one more. Put that one on the table. Because she gets to re-pull. <laughs> Look at. I think he got a green eraser one. But it's Gabby that wanted that one. Okay. We got NOSH, National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. Ooh, there you go. I, I like this American natural pencil. It's a natural wood one. I like those. Natural wood is good. This is a green and red pencil. There's no writing on this one, but it could be a holiday pencil. But the best pencil. one is this one. <laughs> it says... CD Rental Center Incorporated. <laughs> you need it, we run it. <laughs> oh boy. CD Rental Center <laughs> in, on Beecher Street in Adrian, Michigan. You need it, we run it. <laughs> calm down, <laughs> woman, calm down. You're going to give yourself a heart rental. attack. It's CD Rental. <laughs> it's so funny to me. I don't know why. CD rental. Is what do that, you think, Ariana? That's Are you not, good with that? That's not like a DVD or like a movie. That's a C. They no. rented out CDs. That's the name of the company. No, it's CD. Oh! <laughs> I thought they rented out CDs. That was Any dumb. of you feel my pain? I'm just asking. Okay, we're trading the... <laughs> I was like, that is the worst company ever. A CD Trade rental. The red. Okay, let me pick it up for you. Do good. <laughs> Make it a good one. Oh, there you go. Oh. That's very colorful. Oh, oh. Well, I hope you like clowns because this one has clowns all over it. It's like a circus theme one with little clowns. Oh, man. We let you down that time, girl. You know what? Just take that with you to uh, <laughs> Extravaganza and put it in Misty's room. <laughs> She'll love the clown one. Oh, my She God. loves clowns. I heard yeah. talk about them all the time. That is too funny. I think it's cute, though. <laughs> Gabby's like, oh, my God. But you got the cool CD you rental one. It. We read it. I love that. <laughs> I thought it was CDs, yeah. like music You need CDs. a ring sizer? We'll rent this. <laughs> oh, my God. That is too funny. How about a piece of wood to put your cell Would phone you in? Stop it. My goodness. All right. So I think we got through everything here. Um, we have oh. bobby pins, uh, the add-on stuff here. So if there's anything oh, you boy. want, anything we showed. Jason, um, do you need any bobby pins? I'm just asking. Oh, my gosh. You never know. Jason, you Am I missing some, something? You might need some bobby pins. Yeah, I can't. I mean, I can't sell. I can't really tell. I, I think we're good. Um, so if there's. Well, it's there you called go, getting a all, mandrel. Getting all technical on me. Gino. 
Oh, the ring sizer? I didn't know it's that. It's a stick with numbers on it. I didn't know that's what it was called. I have to organize all this plastic. All right. So if there's anything that you Jason, this saw one bobby pins that you're interested in, that? you could always message me. My email is right here. Always, Shoot me an email. You wait for the white elephant. Shoot me an sure. email if there's anything you want. Everybody's good bobby pins. Oh. Um, <clears throat> there's anything you're interested in. Yep, I repulled it for her. Well, see, Jason <gasps> came through pull? at the last minute. These are rock and roll patches. You well, want me patch to pull? Pulls. I thought you want pencil pulls. He knows better because I'm the patch puller. <laughs> Just patch tell us which ones you want. Lip knot. We'll give you a repull. Yeah, like you get all the repulls you want. And the miss. We could put little bobby pins and Geno's here on the side and maybe two strands at the top. That just seems wrong. I, I just you know the little out. babies that don't have hair and they kind of get the ones that kind of like stick. We I think <laughs> Jason has plenty of hair. I've seen Jason before. All right. So you got Slipknot and the Misfits. I would say he's a very hairy wanna, man, but that would be wrong. Do you want to repull one of these? Clip them to his ears. Yeah, you could. So we got these two pulled. Would you like to repull either of these? Are you good with these? Jason, I can't believe they're making fun of your hair, man. If you want to repull, you can do a repull. You just let me know. Okay, which one you want to repull, or you want to repull them both? <laughs> yeah, are you looking for older bands? If you are, we can dig around for those. Yep, I can even show you what I have. You want to repull yep. Slipknot? Okay, we're gonna keep the Misfits. That's a good one. I do like that one. I don't like Misfits. Artsy fartsy souvenir. We got Kiss. That's a good one. So you got Misfits and Kiss. You okay with those? Are you okay with Kiss and Misfits? Those are just a dollar a piece. It, it sounds like a Christmas special. I don't know why. I think the Misfits is what throw me off. Misfits? The Island Misfits. Misfit Toys? Misfit Toys, yes. No, you've never heard of Misfits um, or Slipknot. I've heard of Slipknot for sure. No, I've heard of Led Zeppelin, Creedence Clearwater, Rolling Stones, The Band, Nazareth. Fog hat. All those old man things. Because that's when Even I grew up. Nirvana's in there. You want to pull two more? You got it. I can't help it. You want me to pull them or him? You want to pull them? No, you pull them. I don't want to get yelled at for pulling them. A bad pull. You do. Here, I'll pull them. He's looking. You're cheating. No, I'm not. I'm trying to figure out what he might like. You need clown cupcake picks. I do have some of those, but... How about ACDC? He's a he's a little cheater, but here. here. Hold on. I'm do looking. this ah, one. <laughs> Nirvana? Are those two you'd be interested in? Gino's a cheater, but... No, I just want to make sure he gets what he wants. Do you want the Nirvana one as well? If not, I can dig. This is what it's looking like. You got a good variety you here. sure? He said perfect. All right. I do like Nirvana. I didn't even know that one was in there. Oh, that's because I have talented fingers. Okie dokie, you got it. All, All right. right. What else we got here? I need clown cupcake picks. I don't. We don't have any clown cupcake picks. You missed a clown pencil, though. All right. Anything else before we call it a night? Oh, cool. You're going to send them as a gift. That's awesome. 
Yay. Who's Gavin? Who's I'm, Gavin? You're very nosy. Well, he says he's going to Gavin. I, Is it any of your business? Potentially. You saw it. You saw the clown cupcake pick? There's one up there. I probably have. It's glued to a spool, though. Oh. oh, you saw it in the video, probably, when I went over. Okay. If I come across any of those, I will set them aside. I do have a bin of small stuff. And, oh, you saw the pencil? Okay. Um, I do have some really cute clowns. So if somebody collects clowns, I have some really cute Inesco ones. They sit on the edge of a table. They're really, really cute. I'm not a big clown person, but these are cute. Um, so. Oh, you like me. You must be in the clowns a little bit. Yeah, just a little. All right. Well, we are going to call it a night. We've been on here three and a half hours. And I worked nine hours had an hour off and then came here. So it's been a long day, a long one. Mm -hmm. So I am gonna go upstairs, put my jammies on and put my feet up or I'm gonna have him rub my feet and then probably go to sleep. <laughs> so our next sale will be next Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, so well, stop in. Potentially. My mom is moving in here at some point next week but we don't know because she needs one more surgery initially but, she was getting yeah. discharged wednesday but we don't know so i will post it yeah. on instagram so watch if it, i'll post on there whether i'm having a sale or not um for next week so yeah catch jason's sale tomorrow night yeah um, Ariana's at what 7 30 on Tuesdays. Vintage Uprising Texas, she has yes. her sale on um, um, Wednesday. Ariana, isn't she on Tuesday? Yes, that's what I just said. Mm -hmm. um, Jason's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know why my little button is not working to be able to make people blue, but it's not. So otherwise, I, I would make it so you could post your. You know how to do your it. links in there yeah usually you just touch their name but there's no option there for it so i don't know if maybe it's a setting i have to look at um yeah we hope you all have a wonderful night have a great weekend we'll be out maybe yeah. saturday doing some running around see what treasures we can find but again email me if there's anything you saw that you're interested in or anything you're looking for because i may have it um and we'll make you a great deal on it we have pretty much one of everything mm -hmm. It may be in our personal collection. So if any of you are going to be in know. Northwest Ohio and you want to come shop my basement, you just reach out to me because you can come come down here and shop. We've got, we have scales. We have. Thank you for that. We have a tampon machine, a postage stamp machine. I have medical. I have wood. I have baby cribs. I have an antique I got buggy. A, we have a deer butt in the bathroom. A deer butt. Yes. Um, we have furniture. Actual... I have a silver butter trophy dish that we probably should list for sale. From the 1800s. From the 1800s. We've got a lot of stuff. Yeah. A hand painted saw from Amish country right there. Some of this stuff is better if you're going to be in the area and you want to come here and check things out. You can come um, shop in my basement. Some things, it's just, it, it's not worth shipping, you know. It's a lot of big stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, yeah. Got a, we got a baby buggy from the 1800s here that's in a serious state of needs some love. So if somebody's <gasps> into that, they're welcome to come and get it. Nancy is here. Hi, Nancy. You came in just as we were finishing up. Hello, Nancy. Yeah. Now, see, she's blue. How is it she blue? She must have been blue bef before. Oh, we, be sure you follow Nancy too. Yeah. I think um we can't figure out how to make anybody else blue. On. Oh my goodness! I thought that you were just going, but you know what? You start earlier now. That is right. I missed your live. Oh my goodness. Okay, Gabby. I will check it out. So, yeah, watch back if you missed anything. We have a lot of fun stuff available. 
Yeah, and if you don't have any plans or can plan around it, go to Springfield sometime. Thank you, Abby. A bunch of people will be there that you see online all the time, and it's a great opportunity to meet them. These are the best buttermints. Cracker Barrel. If you like buttermints, yeah. try these. It's the, probably best you don't try them because then you'll be going there every once a month buying a bucket. We play cards with family and we went through a container of these every time. We probably, this is all we have left and we bought like $50 worth. Um, we need to go. Refill. Thank you, Gabby. We, uh, we're, 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 we're beyond physical mm -hmm. and into mm -hmm. mental, I guess. Um, she seems to have a lot of issues after the sun goes down, and I think we all are familiar with what that can indicate. But during the day and the sun's out, she's just fine. She's on top of her game. So, Yeah, I tried that, but you know what? It's not an option. It says star comment, delete comment, put user in timeout, or ban user and delete their comments. Those are the four options I have, and that's on my phone. Oh, got to do it on laptop. I don't have a laptop. We well, get an iPad. There's no option for it on the iPad either. Yeah, but you're not broadcasting through iPad. You're just watching on iPad. Anyway, well, you all have a great night. Nancy, thank you so much. I'm sorry I missed your sale. Um, we are going to head upstairs and put our feet up. I'm going to get me some cold water. It is weird, but my iPod, my iPad's been acting weird all night. So I don't know. It might be a setting in my phone. I'll have to fix. We'll be packing things up on Sunday and invoicing, um, Sunday as well. So keep an eye open for that. Again, shoot me an email if there's anything you want to add to your order and you all have a wonderful night. Yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 800. I'm up to 802, Nancy. Thank you so much. I'm trying to get over 1,000. It's taken me yeah. several years to get this Any, high. We, but, we've been trying to get over 1,000 since we lived in California. That was three years ago. Over 800. <laughs> so if you can steer anybody our way, it would be great. It's just the, something about... I'm just trying to get over 1,000. Just and then get I'll over be 1,000. Like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. Have a great night. And thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you so much for taking time out of your week or evening or whatever to chat along here. Yeah. I'm trying to provide some Blow them a kiss, Gina. Solidarity and Blow them a kiss. Some comic relief from <gasps> how serious she is. That's what I'm using a stream yard. Yeah. Okay. So yes, that's probably what it is. Yeah, but you've been able to do it before. I don't know. All right. You all That's have a great, it. Gino. You all have a great night. Tell them bye-bye below a kiss. Bye. Ah, there you go. Bye, everyone. All right. We'll see you next time. Just keep an eye out on Instagram for her advertisement. Like I said, we're, next week's going to be kind of uh, iffy. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Good evening.